we killed uh, we killed a friend's baby. Alternate universe baby. Yeah, we totally did that. That happened. Why use such nasty terms for it? The tone of this game is so baffling. <laughs> I mean, we've definitely talked about this a lot, but, like, the Tales of Zillia one party is the wrong party to be doing this, you know? If you wanted to do this, sacrifice the many for the needs of the few storyline and be all conflicted about it, you really can't have the group whose core tenant was that they weren't willing to do that in the first game. Yeah. It's like... You know, you can have them nod to being troubled about doing it all you want. They're still doing it. They're still doing it with very little external prodding. Well, they're, they're not questioning anything about this. Like, none of them are going, is there another way? Surely there must be something we can do other than just killing all these people. I mean, hell, they're not even like, they're not even the ones who are supposed to be doing it. They're just doing it because they're such good buddies with Luger. There's like no, like, is Beasley telling us the truth? Maybe we should seek out the Kronos of our- Is there any other way? Wait, like, we know about Kronos. Why yeah. not seek out the Kronos and Aska of our universe and ask them what the fuck is going on? Like, I... It plays so fast and loose with all of it. And it just makes every character seem like such a massive hypocrite. Yeah. Even alternate Mila, who, like, Bones at you, but doesn't stop you. I don't Starts even try. helping you actively, you know? Like, she's she's along in all these universes and shit, despite, you know, watching her own universe be destroyed. It's it's so baffling. It's baffling. It's, it... And luckily, we get to continue today. Yeah, we get to continue today. We might get to a chapter where even more shit is about to, uh... But that's the funniest part of it. Like, everything we have is almost nitpicks compared to... What's coming? Yeah. Oh yeah, the best is yet to come. The game doesn't completely fall apart until the back quarter? Third quarter, and somewhere in that neighborhood. Oh yeah, like, I, do, I do feel like the scene with Julius uh, that we did do last week at Kajara Sea Falls... Yeah. ...is probably about where I'd say it starts. Yeah, because he could just tell us. He could have told us basically everything here, but he decides to continue to be mysterious for the sake of the story. And they literally invent a monster. And I have to tell you guys, when we find out what he's hiding, it makes no sense that he would hide it from us. But, but we gotta... But we gotta get there. But, you know, but like that scene, it's like they invent a totally new type of magic that this generic crab knows. <laughs> Mr. Crab in man. order to in invent a way to put Elle in danger. It's it's so bizarrely written, but like it's it's really just starting to scratch the surface of where we're going. Are you ready for more optional stuff though? Yeah! We did, I did do some off stream, uh, but we got new places to go, people to see. We have actually new places to go. Yes, a new town. For the first time since basically the start of the game, we're going yeah. somewhere that yeah. was not in Zillia 1. I know, isn't that incredible? It really, the, it front loads them and back loads them, but also, like, there's there's not much. I mean, yeah, they're not, like, exciting. But, no. All right. We might be overselling it. No, it's new, it's new. It's new it's and new. exciting. I, you're right. It's a My new bad. Town. So I think we have to take a train there. I believe so because it's actually a totally different world map. Yep. For some reason. I don't, I have a new world map. Why not? World map. I'm, I'm doing finger <laughs> quotes. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Olympios' map was always kind of a bit shit in one. Yeah. Oh, you, the, the Olympios like, is a huge victim of the flattening of one, the rush. Yeah, it is, it is tiny. But it also sort of works as an endgame area. Yeah? So yes, yeah, so if we look here, we're in here. To Olympios. To Drellin region. <laughs> For some reason, they couldn't put more things on this. I guess because they needed that funky dried lake. All right, uh, so I guess warp to somewhere with a train. Yeah, so you kind of have to go to... Uh, Duval? Yeah. Why not? Duval Station, let's go. No fresh mutton for us. Kit. Hey, not bad. All right. Chonky copper. Anywhere in particular? Uh, go for the Toblerone High Road, I think. Toblerone High Road. A delicious Toblerone High Road. Yeah. I don't even cats. We're really getting there on cats. Well, I mean, we're running out of places in the game for cats to be, that's, essentially. That's true, yes. All right. Let's go to Drellin. Oh, yes. Drellin. Totally new place. Drellin. Drellin. Along with Duval and Marksburg. Well, the hamlet on the frontier. Drellin. Wow. He what? really likes Anyone to. Can post a job <laughs> yeah, every time what we go into a new town, she her. seems to say that. She's like, oh, hello. It's it. Elle's hat. The wind Currently on Elle. I have to be careful it doesn't blow off my hat. You're really fond of that thing, aren't you? This is my promise hat. I have to take really good care of it. What's a promise hat? If I keep my promises to my daddy, when I wake up in the morning, there's a present in the hat. Daddy says they're from a spirit who rewards the <laughs> children. That's Fascinating. a wonderful story. I've never heard of a spirit engaging in such behavior. That spirit's your fucking dad. No, our one is, is the affection. <laughs> but yeah, that's, we're gonna, we can kill Elle's We can murder Santa dream. Claus in front of her. <laughs> Tell her Santa's not real. Santa's your dad. All right. Well, what sort of presents does it give you? What sort of presents does it give you? All kinds of things. Yeah, the hat fairy. Like a personal yeah. tooth cup, or a limited edition kaleidoscope, or a really pretty cicada shell. Damn, oh, your dad well. is like this a fucking simp. Really puts <laughs> like, come on. Into this. Oh, and a pair of hand knit gloves. They were so warm and soft, but I left them behind when we had to run away. Hand knit? The spirit works harder than I do. Indeed. I would very much like to meet him one day. I want to see the spirit too, but do you think we can? Maybe. Ah, who knows. I guess I'll just have to keep on keeping my promises to daddy. Including to go with Kanan. By murdering <laughs> millions of people. Yeah. Yeah. It's shark lady. I wonder what do not approach the lone shark lady. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> right you do. What a peaceful little town. When you're right, so we do have to like buy. This, it feels as though the whole world. Uh, is fruit yakisoba from the shop here, right? I believe so. Fruit and cheese. There, there we, we go. go. Small, small yep. and medium. I think just the small. I think it's just the small for the quest, but. Yeah. I'm sure we'll start finding these in bags on the ground soon. Yeah. I guess we can hand that in at the quest board. As we also, continue to. There's the hat. Wait just a second. Wait. Oh, that has that that meow. Yo. 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 <laughs> it goes yo. 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 That's the cat doing that. Yo. <laughs> yo. All right. Hey, Enya. Enya has the Tengu mask for that quest. Yay. I think. I guess the job board's right here. So we have to take the Tengu mask to Duval. But we can deliver this fruit yakisoba and get a sealed world. Got 18 frogs in the last high road, one of the first areas of the game. 
Why? You know, you need a little something to spice the, the, the last high road up. Why? Oh yeah, I did a Hassle at Italian Abyss 1. It spawned Hassle at Italian Abyss 2. <laughs> That's a bronze medal quest that we cannot, uh... We cannot do yet. Remember, so, you're in the Tatalian uh, Abyss forever. Well, uh, we now can warp here, so I guess we should just warp to Deval and... ...hand in a Tangu mask. Sounds good. And then maybe save the game and do some poker. Disgusting. Rowan, you look like you're about to do violence to this man. <laughs> He's definitely about to stab this man in the back. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Why did they put someone right next to him? That was such a bad position to put him. <coughs> Hello, dealer. <laughs> Even little cat, yo. And the cat said meow to me as he ran yo. away. Yo, thanks. Thanks for your poker chips, yo. Super duper thankful. Well, instead, could you open up a minigame that lets us play poker? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Man, nobody bats an eye at music. She's just around now. It's very funny. Spirits, like, literally are all dead in Olympios. They don't exist. Yeah, but no, she yeah. just floats around. Yeah, no, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like if they've had more time, maybe they'd have given her, like, a human disguise kind of thing. Maybe, but... yeah. God knows. Hi. Behold. That, that's okay. That's a poker face. I mean, to be fair, it would probably be hard to play someone in poker who was wearing that mask. If you insist. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what are you doing, music? What are you doing? What are you doing, music? <laughs> I just... <laughs> the dukes are up! <laughs> Don't worry, I never show facial emotion. Can't penetrate my poker face. Oh, we'll make it turn blue then, idiot. <laughs> the pigtails <laughs> make it much worse. I know, I <laughs> made them bigger. <laughs> I also changed the color so that it matches a bit more with her hair, and I think I did a pretty good job. The pigtails are horrendous and I love them, but I, I was pretty happy with my color job. <laughs> Just let that animation go as long as it can before it auto goes forward. Not gonna. Oh, it will. <clears throat> but yes, we should save first because we'll have to like buy some chips. You think will there's we? a save right here? <coughs> oh, we will, because poker chips don't carry over in Union Plus. Ah. So, for some reason, you can play oh, poker. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't. You can't carry. Uh... Ah, the bartender. Welcome. And then we can trade for prizes. All right, one uh, chip for ten gold. Probably like a thousand. Fuck it. Yeah, it seems good. I mean, it's not like we want to <laughs> hold on to this money. No, no, we really don't. There are some really good prizes um, that we probably want to get. So, does anyone want to play poker for like an hour? All right, welcome to my Bellatro stream. <laughs> Alright, so... I believe so... you're just trying to make hands. Yes, you make uh, hands, and then you get a double or nothing, higher or lower game. Right, the high and, low. It's basically the same as a bunch of other pokers in yep. Tales games. So 100 is the most I can bet. Yeah, and I would just go for it. If we lose all the money, we can just reload. Ooh, we oh, that's three, three of a kind. Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah, so you're yes. clicking the ones you're not holding, because yes. that's not confusing. Yep. All right. And then you yeah, square to swap. Ah, we got Joker. We got four of a kind. So All right. Ten. And oh, then we've we got can, a like, thousand. 
double or nothing it, yeah. And I think you basically just do this till you hit big. Yes. Uh, of course, if you lose, if you keep doubling and you lose, you lose yes. everything. But no. So uh, that's low. low. So now um, it's kind of a question if we cut we and run here. We probably cut and run here um, and save because that's a good amount. That's reasonable. Oh, you know, I made 2,900. Quit poker! All right, that was fun poker. Everybody loves it. So yeah, this is sort of a Tales classic. Oh, yeah, our deck collector is totally fine with us playing poker. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it in a back alley. That makes it okay. Uh, we should check, because the price is... Ah, yes, yeah, so and, like, how much we There's like, a trophy for, for 100,000. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think you need even close to 100,000 for all the stuff. Although, like, for the outfits, the outfits are quite expensive. Um, so there's Gambler Outfits, Gambler Haircut, No Jacket 2, uh, Lady Zillia Outfit, Casual Attire, uh, your a, bunch, angle, your devil. a bunch of, like, accessories, the devil's head. These are all Sideburns. things, yeah, the mini top hat, these are things you can put on. The Yin and Yang, Scorched Earth, Torch Nebula, and Rotting <coughs> Geyser are, uh, things, uh, extractors. Mm -hmm. So ah, th those you want because they're really good ones. Um, so and that, then we've got cat stuff, and then like uh, friendship stuff, materials. materials, yeah. And I think that's basically everything. Yep. So what we really want is about fifty thousand, so we can get the extractors. Mm -hmm. And off stream, we might do more to get the costumes. We'll see. Yeah. Of course, don't forget about the Joker. Yeah, Luger still has to be the best at everything. Dang, it doesn't go around. Alright, All right, two aces. Keep holding the aces. If you have a pair, you want to keep it because it, it brings you your bet back. Yeah. Even if you lose, so, you know, it's fine. Yep. Okay, I can press left to do max bet. There's not really any reason to do anything other than that. Uh, this is shite. Yeah, throw Might it all Might as well just back. hold the ace. I don't know if it's worth holding an ace in this. Yeah. <clears throat> burr, burr. We got a pair! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what strikes are. I assume ace is low. Yes, ace is high and low. Um, so kind of the best we can go for here. Fine. <clears throat> pair. I kind of always want to go for pairs rather than straight, so we did get two pairs. <coughs> yeah. Now we're going to have to really double this to be worth it. Oh, that's uh, easy enough. Jokers are high, yeah. Up Keep from on that. going. Ah. Ah, yes, it provides a totally new card as well, yes. so it doesn't go off your old card. Yes. I did forget about oh, that. All right, uh, seven is, of course, the fuck you. That's high, but unfortunately, like, yeah, yeah but there are more highs, but yeah. Dangerous high. Yes, it's unfortunate, but you can't, like, back out once you're doubled or nothing. Yes. So you just have to make a punt at that point. Yep. Ooh, this is garbage. Yeah, this hand sucks. Press triangle to, like, hold them and hold all of them. Yeah. Yeah. You lose. Oh, the fake uh, clock face is a makeup mirror. Wow, ah. that's, that's not bad. Ooh. Once again, this kind of sucks. Yeah. No flushes, no straights. <coughs> Off it goes. Oh, nice. Yeah, the two sixes and the... Uh... Joker, yep. guarantee the three of a kind. Yeah, you really just want to see the Jokers oh, a lot yeah. of the time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100%. And the Joker always gives you the highest thing as well. Once more. Oh yeah, you lose <laughs> if you draw. Wow. <laughs> 
that amazing. Was, that was trash. That was a little sad. That was the game deciding that was you didn't get to a win. A little, little sad. Throw it away. Yeah. Yeah, you really only want to go for a flush or a straight if you're one card away. Yeah. Because again, it's just one set, you know? Once Ooh. again, not That's really anything. So bad. Alright, one pair. Oh, we have pair twos. Woo! <laughs> I like how it likes the, the fuck you noise. It does, even when you get when a pair. You get a pair. Ew. Nope. Yeah, god, I forgot that Luger is like. the Joker. Luger and L. He has to be the best. Most important to us. Ooh, okay, I guess throw away the 10 and yeah. pray. Nine or a four does it here. Harsh. Yep. You're also Very not nice. allowed to double or nothing on On a, on a one pair, yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> it's going good. It's going great. It's going just like Bellatro. Uh, All right, I think it's just. Well, actually, that might uh, be. That's a flush. Throw the if you throw the three away, not the nine. I think a flush is better than a straight, and I think the oh. Joker's count for flushes. Oh, okay. So you want a heart? Okay. Yes, okay. and if not, we get a you pair, get a pair. Yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't. I think we could have made that better as it was. Oh, three tens. Oh, oh, uh. Yeah, that's more. That's so, a guarantee. Yeah, that's as a guarantee. Because well. you have the four diamonds, but yeah. this is guaranteed. Alright. Try doubling your bet. Yeah. Uh. It's kind of funny because, like, double or nothing is sort of the only actual way to make chips in this. Like, yeah. it's not even poker. Oh, you fucker. I hate that a draw <laughs> is a loss. Just it's going up. so good. Oh, no, we have eight. Are you okay? All right. I mean, we won a few thousand chips, and then the game is like, no. You take those. <laughs> Man. Yeah, the devil or nothing's being fucking mean. Okay, it does wrap. Your draw is going to the house. It should just redo it. Throw the ace, maybe? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. I was there gonna say, go. that's a straight. Yeah. God help us. Alright. I'll only take one more and pray. Yeah, All I think right. I'll cut and run here. Yeah, yeah, and we'll save that, yeah. It, it really is, like, eventually you do just start making absolutely wild bets, because the way to do this is to just get a lucky streak. Cat return. Of one, uh, yeah. you know, one. It's yeah, just you need nothing, enough yeah. built, uh, enough chips built up to, like, roll this until it goes. Uh, yeah, I keep going there. I'm trying to get the like, Torval, the, like, rare item from here yeah. for a quest. I was trying Canvalar and it just was not getting mm -hmm. in the guy of something. Cats are the cats are on fucking strike, is what I'm saying. And normally a draw would just be like re you know, redo huh. uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <coughs> oh man, I was this close to winning. You really were. Wow, well, Leia. I really can see everything you're thinking written plain across your face. And I can't see anything on yours. Always so perfectly calm. It's super creepy. <laughs> There's nothing creepy about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's known as a poker face. In the game of poker, your expression can be every bit as crucial as the cards in your hand. Not in this one. Not in this one, though, no. The face of all of us has got to be Gaius. Hmm. I'll die before I let you steal this pot, Rowan. <laughs> Or maybe not. <laughs> as soon as he thinks he's about to lose, his expression turns incredibly menacing. Gaius's problem is that he simply cannot stand to lose. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> Toy with me, old man, and it will 
be the last thing you ever do. Wow, he is intense. A pity that intensity isn't justified by his cards. <laughs> oh, and no table talk. <laughs> Such tension. I'm trembling with excitement. Rowan and Gaius are amazing together. I know. They're so funny. They're, they're really funny. It's like a really good thing about this game is Gaius, isn't it? Because yeah. Gaius has such great interactions with yes. everyone. Gaius is a slightly less serious, like, party member. And Rowan has always liked to poke the bear, which just makes him hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> So we'll, you know, if we're not getting lucky on this, we won't do this forever, but... It does suck that you're stuck at 100. I really don't like that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you need like 100,000. Right. Again, there's no reason to do anything except for double your luck until you get ridiculous, because the most you're losing is 100 anyway. Oh, I guess that is throw almost a flush. Hey! Hey! We do one more. Uh, yeah, go for it. Fuck. Yay! So yeah, Woo! again, it like so little really matters until you get to the double or nothing. You don't miss so bad, right? You're just missing out in poker. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, worry. <laughs> just been doing poker today. <laughs> if you didn't see uh, Tuesday, what happened on Tuesday? We got Muse. Mm-hmm. Yes, Muse is now a party member. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just big spirit hanging around with us. Uh, no, Luger's not- Luger's the Joker. There he is. Don't forget about <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Luger is, uh, the best card in the game. <laughs> Obviously. Sorry. I mean, it's, you know, Yuri's the Joker in, uh, Vesperia. Yeah, it's, it's true. The, this, it's true, it's true. This specific poker mini game is in most Tales games. Um, with like, your party as face cards. So a jack. No, uh, we have two nines. Three, two nines, yeah. All right. Two pair. Uh, the worst hand that lets us actually start to earn money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always better to play for a flush than a straight, despite the fact that straights are worth less uh, in the system that we have here. Um, that is a six. straight, yeah, if yeah. we throw the six. Oh, sure. Three of a kind. There's there's a lot of things that work for that, you know. Yep. You go one more. Keep going. You go two more. <laughs> go for it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we kind of are at the point where it's like we kind of yes, where we ju you just go for broke. Yeah. If you're not doubling your money, then what's really the point? Yeah. And if you lose enough, you just. Yeah, and but like to be honest, at a hundred a bit, yeah, you're not it's losing really it, hard yeah. to lose a lot, you know. Oh, oh we were three. I'm not sure if holding one is better, or, uh, like, to try to get a full house. I, I think you just generally want- a four of a kind is more than a mm. full house. Yeah. Oh, that- no, no that's- that's just that's, a full house. Yeah. You know, and all this does is start us a little bit higher. I mean, yeah. if we start getting the really good stuff, then it's, like, actually worth a bit more, but... You know, it just means that you have to play fewer rounds. Oh god, I... Eight is like dead in the middle. Yes. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, eight is literally the 50-50 point. But Joker exists, so there's more cards above it, I think. Yes. But we are basically fucked. Yes. Ripper! Nice. Uh, I think we bounce. I yeah, think yeah. Oh, that's, a good that's actually being doubled. All right, do we try to get a bit more or? I think we got a bit more because I think with a bit more we can get two extractors. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely do more of this off stream, but you know. Oh god, yeah, we want those extractors. <coughs> we'll see why the, these extractors are ridiculous. They, I'm not sure they expect you to do this, but I'm not sure why they expect you. Why they wouldn't expect you to do yeah. this, you know? <laughs> I bet 10. Oops. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking... Yeah, you don't have to reset your bet except when you leave and come back. Alright. That's terrible. Nothing. By the way, the power of it means nothing. Um, a pair is as good no matter what it is as any other pair. Yes. Alright, long road here. Eight, you want to go higher, nine, you want to go lower? Yes, like, that's the break just, point, and yeah. then it's never anything else. High low is not exactly a uh, an exciting game. No. I was just saying, I like saw that six, and I was like, damn, probably should go low. Just to, just Statistically, to you should go high, but I was like feeling it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make a bad call. This is less tedious than yes. Star Wars Revenge Better Races because you have some control over it. It's it's fairly quick. You Not don't quick, have yeah. to fucking... You know, for all this, once you get the feel of it, it's, it's so simple that you're not really thinking at all. You just really hope you start at, like, higher than... Yes. ...than two pair or three of a kind, because you have to double a lot, and doubling is, like... There's uh, there's always a really high ch uh, chance of losing. Yeah. Well, it's especially just doing it one after the other after yeah. the other. And again, it's not really worth it for us to have uh, 4,000 chips. Three of a kind. You know, like at this point, at this fourteen thousand, if we if we're making less than like three thousand, there's yeah, no reason. Yeah, there's no reason to take it and run. You know. Yeah. And it's like because it's you can go a while without seeing a big hand, without getting a chance to do it. Like one more double once you're already there is basically like almost always the value neutral or high value move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you kind of just have to, uh, yeah, uh, wow, that is basically just off straights. So. <laughs> hey, Luger. Honestly, if there weren't Jokers in the deck, this would be fucking miserable. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Because it's, it's not actually, you know, you're not really playing poker, you're doing one hand of five card draw. Yeah. There's no real strategizing here. No. You mostly just hope that you get a few lucky pulls when you, uh... Get, you know, like, when you get, like, a four of a kind or a full house. I also think you can only, uh, double or nothing so many times. Yes, I think it will eventually stop you. It does eventually stop you doubling your bet, yeah. Which, like, fair enough. <laughs> you know, and that's really the thing. For the number of ones we have to do for it to be worth it, Anything lower than a flush is actually kind of shit yeah. <laughs> at this point. Oh, you had two sixes. Oh. I also feel like in some of the older games, you actually kept the card. Like, you were, instead yeah. of getting a totally new one, yeah. you compared against the card that you had gotten, which gave yeah. you some information. Alright. Yeah. Oh, do we run with this or do we do yeah, that's one good. more? I think that's good. Yeah. 
I think there's like a couple of 8,000 extractors. But yeah, and this is just, it's sheerly a matter of time put in. But it's a Tails classic. I don't know if Cilia actually had it. Alright, yes, Yin and Yang and Scorched Earth are both 8,000. Um, Torch Nebula is 9,000. Oh, jeez, I think, uh... Well, Erupting Geyser is, like, the best one. I mean, we can afford it and any of the other ones. Yeah, Erupting Geyser and Torch Nebula are the best ones that would take oh. all of our chips, but... I, that's fine, I think. You know, we just... We just buy another thousand, two thousand in. Yeah. Once we want to do more of this. I really think you should be able to do, to bet, like, you know, a percentage of how much you have. Instead of the, uh... So, uh, let's go look at these fucking extractors, right? It's okay. That's a ten. That's a 10 extractor. This is a 9. It's decent. <laughs> this is, these are ridiculous. The other ones are like a, an 8 and a 7, I think. So like, yeah. also, also amazing. considering right now our best <clears throat> one's a 4. Yes. And a fairly limited um, 4 at that. It's just, oh, it's fuck wild. All right, um, I think he might want this one just for the dark. <laughs> we don't have a lot of darkness ones. Yeah. You know, and ultimately, it's not that hard to get these. We just did that in, what, 30 minutes? 20 minutes? Yeah, it didn't really take very long. So it's She's like... She's like the one with the least elemental yeah. or might as well go on her. Yep. But like... Holy shit. Like, look at that compared to what everyone else has. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. There really is just that level of like, well, you won't go for this because you don't know it's there. We hit it in a side in, in the long-term reward from the mini game of the side quest that you just did, and we don't show you any information about it when you're buying it. Because if we did, it would be pretty obvious what you wanted to do. Yeah. You know, it's like I don't really hold this against the game. This is silly in it's a fun very way. Very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Muse is going to learn 16 arts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll definitely do more poker because there are, you know, we want to see some of these costumes. It's pretty easy to do mindlessly. And again, like, you just got to get lucky, you know, enough runs of it. Definitely to make a ridiculous want, amount. Definitely want these two as well. Because yep. we're not going to get any extractors this good for... Yep. Uh, and, Ages. And, and, for and, and, <laughs> like these are like end game yeah. uh, extractors. Yeah, it's quite funny that they're right next to like basically random materials that we're gonna be finding on the field yeah, in a yeah, bit. Yeah, much. Yeah. <coughs> it's it, like the the gambling is very heavily weighed in your favor as long as you're willing to feed it time. You know, you really can't lose enough for it to be meaningful. Yeah. Our cat's return. We've been gambling for two kitty dispatches. Uh, Torbalon Jade. Nice, that's what we needed. I think that's enough now. Uh, so back to Candelar, I guess. I had no luck with it, maybe you will. I will. I'll get it on the first try. All right, back to Drellin. What, the plot? Uh, no, we're still avoiding the, the plot. We're still not, we're still not talking to Nova. Hmm, that's fair. Ever. Fuck. Fucking hate her. <laughs> yeah, she basically gave us last dime at the end of stream when we paid our debt a please come to Drellin, it's urgent. Alright, check the boxes next to the job board. Uh, Alrighty. And then we're entering the inn. Mutton! Mutton Man's here! Finally. Do you know the Mutton Man? Mutton! Fresh Mutton! He's even in Drellin! Mm -hmm. Mutton you. guy gets around. I love you, Mutton Man. Uh, in the inn, there's a cat on the rack of beverage. There you are. Ah, yes. The beverage. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a nice then, cat as I reach around and grab the Jose check Cuervo. Check the same location for some booze, yeah. Tartaros. There's Tartaros, and we get color, so we do have the quest for that. Alright. Head upstairs, check the right room's nightstand, and then exit the inn. Tartaros! That drawing didn't really look like a bound feather, but okay. Now head directly south across the plaza and check the stand on the east side. Faster. Yeah, there we go. Steal a tuna from this man. Alright, now we're leaving. We're exiting to the Calamar, Calamar Heights. So, a yeah. new area. This is, this is the, a new town. A new town. They've got a whole bunch of assets. It's one screen. Yeah. <laughs> and we should be happy to have it. Oh, we should. Yes, uh, we should figure our shit out. Do you out. want Muse? Uh, I guess I would play Muse. Would you like Luger? I'll take Luger. And do yeah. we want anyone else in? Uh, maybe Milo over Jude. All right. Uh, you have to change me off from all. I do have to do that. Yeah, we won a lot. Our debt collector called us up and is like, "I'm in trouble," and I'm like, "Good." Good. <laughs> All right. Dude, we hate you. So <laughs> you I have killed me. A new location. Let's see if it's any good. You um, know the answer to that. Calamar Heights is an ugly open rock land with little appeal. Thanks, guy. Hug the north wall and head east to a hole. <laughs> as opposed to... I don't to... think it's any uglier than any other bit. Yeah, I was going to say, as opposed to... But there's some new wolves here! The Western Wolf. Who owns the Western Wolf? Music. Ah, nice. And one we're gonna make it more. I did kill enough gentle gnomes in the mine to get uh, Muse some more SP as well. I actually believe C, uh, circle up. Is I definitely did that on purpose. Spin a win. Yes, and you hold X during a... I've put, I've put Mystic Arts on everyone. Mm -hmm. X should do your art. L1 and X will do your partner's Mystic Art. I don't think we needed to do that to them. No. I mean, she definitely did, though. She clearly hates them. Yep, there we go. I was like, I, they said, like, lazy developers. I don't want to put that judgment in. They had a year to make this. Yeah. Like, the, the base tools of Zillia, like, just does, you know, the way to make yes. maps that are, like, interesting. Doesn't exist. Didn't really exist in this engine, you know? This was the very first thing they did in this engine. Then they went on to make Sestiri and Viseria, which worked really well. But, yeah. like... You know, a year, they have to make, you know, not just, you know, new areas, they have to do the new characters, and new story, everything else, it's like... I'm, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna be like they were lazy. I, I'll say a lot of things about this game, but they were working within an engine. And they had an extreme time crunch, and Zillia 1 is not finished! Yeah. <laughs> And yet you're talking. This is really starting to get fun. And yet you're still bugging us about our money. I can't talk. And yet right, she's bugging so... us. Uh, Run to the opposite side of the map, enter the hole in the southwest corner. I will say, the caves just get so great. I, I do love a character. Like, I, I, I love that they're like ugly open rack lines with little appeal. I just, the only thing I hate is just the, the, the sort of very. Oh, it's um, a very game faxy. Haha, <laughs> lazy it's a very, developers. It's a very gamer complaint to be like, oh, this thing's here because the d game devs are lazy, and I don't like here that kind of thing. I think, I'm not someone who thinks game developers can do no fucking wrong, though. There are people who are like that who are like. Well, the game developers did it for a reason, and it's like, 
that doesn't make it not shit. Yeah, they can be wrong. They can still be wrong. Like the reason could be bad. Chibo can turn into a backpack. Yep. But it's not like, oh yeah, I can just make Breath of the Wild in this engine in one year. But unless you have proof to me that the, the developers themselves said, yeah, this is like lazy as shit. Time to make a lazy cash grab. Like, there are lazy cash grabs. This is not a lazy cash grab. You know no. what I mean, you know? It, this is very Majora's mask -y. They... They had a story they wanted to tell and they decided to swoosh Zillia into it, you know? Yep, to tell it in the Zillia engine. This is the RPG Maker version. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> I'm already Woo! eating one, but this is fine. <laughs> Friend. Luger, get they ass. You know, they could do it to evoke a feeling and it doesn't evoke the feeling. You know, I I think Final Fantasy Two might be my like. Yay! Yay! I'm really feeling Biggest her up. Biggest example of a game where they it, they got the exact effect they intended, but it fucking sucks. <laughs> Anything else in this area? Uh, no. Continue to the central region. Alrighty. Like that for sure is my problem with two. Is that oh yeah, oh. Um, is that they are hundred percent wanted this effect, but it sucks. <laughs> it incentivizes uh, bad, perverse play patterns. And, uh... Sometimes what a developer wants to do is not actually... fun. Well, and also sometimes it just doesn't really come together the way it no. was envisioned, you know? It's a very complex process. Oh, it's like the, the Deus Ex developers were like, game just didn't fucking work until like three months before release. It's oh, just, weird. Those two learned arts? Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that? Yeah, Saga game design is one of them. Saga games are extremely interesting. All of them are kind of not great to play. <laughs> <Kind of bad. laughs> They went probably in that hole. Uh, follow the carriage on the north wall for a hole yeah. for the path in. Yep. Hey, can you fight one dude for me, please? I would love one dude. I'm counting on you, Oh, finished already? And there's definitely like game mechanics and stuff where you can see what they intended and what they wanted, and you're like, it just doesn't work. Yep. Finally, some delicious monster fluid. Anyway, honestly, this is probably one of the more interesting areas in the game because you can see they're really trying. Yes, you can actually see that this is, like, Like, different. they're trying to make the walls... The walls are still there because that's just how this engine works. But you can see they're trying to make them less just, like, straight-up walls. But here they're trying to use the walls to make like a, 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 a narrow valley effect rather than like every area which is just basically a big open square with walls around it. And sometimes the square can um Here's your reward. Woo! Hey, come back! Amazing. Beautiful. Perfect. No notes! But yeah, like an area with like elevation and a long path like literally doesn't exist in Zillia no. 1, you know? Like no. this kind of sloping hill. Yeah. You can really see the start of Zestiria in, yes. in this area, I think. Yep. You know, and it's like, it's not like Zestiria is the perfect thing, but it's a clear step up from Zillia. It's a huge step up from Zillia. Um, so I think, uh, go east before it heads north to a hole. Alright. Ooh, I'm gonna like this in uh -oh. this hole. <laughs> Pretty happy to watch in this hole. It's so hard, like, these old games with these weird mechanics are so hard to balance, because if you don't know about them, it can be extremely... Not yet. <laughs> ...frustrating... Ah, Withered Trent. Uh, like... Just a frustrating experience. Yes. 
I mean, I remember FF2 not knowing what to do and wandering too far left and getting beamed by werewolves. It sucked, man. I just didn't play the game after that. But when you know what to do, it's like... It can be kind of... Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Howdy! So it's not an accessory, mm -hmm. but we have a cowboy hat. Don't know if anyone wants it. Not our nope. card party. 1995 Fortnite gift card card. Who wants it? And like I, I streamed a Saya game. All right, are we going? Uh, I think we're just exiting yeah, to the next area. Uh, right. A Saya ah, game. <laughs> nothing interesting nothing over there. there. Uh, with Ragni, and it is like that game can like really. I don't remember which one it was, but like it, mm -hmm. it was one where the more fights you did, it like advanced time and made things happen. Was it romancing? It uh, was that one. There's more than one romancing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And, and it is like, it's an invisible counter, and you know, so if you're playing it like a JRPG where you fight random encounters, you could really fuck yourself. But yeah, look at this, there's even a hole right? in the ground in this one, and like, a big cliff. I, mean, I don't know what the guy is on about, this is like, easily one of the more interesting areas in the game. Which, you know, is a bit of an indictment. It's not good, but still. But, <laughs> apparently I was being chased that whole but time. Yeah, for you can't. And there's an extractor. And I do think there's something to say for enjoying games with like obscure mechanics, but it's definitely that tightrope of you're gonna alienate people. People yeah. are gonna play your game, not Whoa, know what Nelly. to do, find it way too hard because they don't know what to do, because you kind of have to balance your game around a, a middle ground. Yeah. Like, you have to balance it as if people kind of stumble into half of what you do, because if you balance it around people who have, like, no clue what they're doing and do shit, your game is going to be too easy for anyone who, like, figures anything out. Blinding lightning. Not that, that it'll be for her, but we will take a look. Three for... That is a four oh, for four. Okay. Of light. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is someone who wants light. Uh, yeah, her. Uh, and you can't balance it around people who figure out your entire system and make themselves ridiculous because then you make the game far too hard for anyone stumbling around. Yeah. Yeah, there was no getting out of there. No. No way to run. But like that is just like all games to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when you have extremely esoteric um, no, kind of. like mechanics, you run that risk even harder. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, honestly, yeah, Zillia 2 had, uh, like, no, like, like, no staff and turned this out in a year. And you can tell because there are a lot of problems with it, but, like, I don't like this game. <laughs> but it's not because of lazy developers. No. I don't think this game is lazy. Yes, I don't think it's bad. I think it's kind of bad because the base level image, you know, like the, the goal for this game was kind of yes, the, not great from first the principles. The mechanic doing this way they wanted to have like main stories and side stories and like bits where you just explore the world sucked because Zillia one Zillia One's world sucks and you've already explored it once. Whee! Like if this was a whole new game that still looked like Zillia One, it would still be bad. Oh, it looked like this. If you had a whole bunch of new areas that looked like this, it's too Whee! it still wouldn't be good, but it would be less annoying. The fact that like the pacing and the progression, they tried something new with it. They like they tried something different from a standard JRPG, and it doesn't work. Yeah. Because I don't know when shops get new gear. We should check the Drellin shops. Is oh, there yeah. new gear in Drellin? Maybe. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, when do new customization things happen? I don't know. Is it story related? Doesn't seem to me. Is it, like, area related? Maybe? Yeah, like, there's a lot of kind of core mechanics in this that are poorly presented and not very well explained because it has to be hammered into the, like... 
No, we're just exiting. There's nothing okay. else to find. Because it has to be hammered into the shape of the existing engine of Zillia 1, you know? I think they actually made collecting materials worse in this game than in yes. 1. And in 1, they were just like, each, each individual thing wasn't, like... Like, getting pointy talons, you weren't all that interested in the pointy talons themselves, but yep. you were in like, oh, this is uh, five animal points towards upgrading my shops. Yep. And you basically dumped all your, you waited for <coughs> the bonuses and dumped all your stuff in. But we had like 99 poop, and we've had 99 poop for a very long time. There's just no drop for them, you know? There's no uh, uh, sink. One treasure, north side of the cliff. Yeah, there's also a path here, but it's blocked off by rocks. I'm sure it we'll never like do anything with that. The crafting system is very lackluster. Yep. There's like nothing in it. Yep. There's a handful of things, and it doesn't use even close to all of our materials. We have like, if you look at our materials. Yeah. We have like 99 of like. We have like 79 copper ore. Despite the fact that it is basically. Chunks, 96 wild grass. Is that ever going to be used for anything? Yeah. As far as I can tell? No. It and the generic quests are the only sync that exists for these things. And like, yeah, look at that. they give them to you at a rate that is not, and that, that get, neither of those consumes them even close to. And you get a bunch of them from to. Cat Dispatch, but all yep. you care about from Cat Dispatch is the, the rare items. Yeah. Because they're use requests. Anyway, uh, this is the brand new area. Neat. It's better than most silly one areas, but still not good. Yeah. All right, 50% chance to present penetrify. You can tell they were trying to make areas that weren't just big blocks surrounded by cliffs. Yep. All right, so uh, I want to hand in our jobs. Yeah, so we hand in the jobs, we go check the shops out, just in case, yep. and then I think we're talking to Alvin. Yes, we are. Ah, <sighs> this is nice. This is the sort of place that puts one is in it? mind. So apparently. All right. Yay. Yeah, as we see if there's anything else, we can actually... How dare they? Yeah, it's a bronze metal one, but yeah, we need more guys, dumplings. No, we don't want to do that one. Cause yeah, because the, the Jade's one we actually want. Yeah. Love that. Why 15? 15. Uh, it just, it jumps so suddenly, too. And, like, this kind of quest is not compelling. Nobody's going to a last high road. There's nothing to find there anymore. Yep. I'm on another line right now. Sorry, I can't talk. Pay off, like, 8,000 or something. We're really close to the main story, so we don't have to pay it off. Thing. Sorry, Luger. Middle of a crisis. That's all she says in this whole bit once you open the next story, and it's, it's even more annoying than her, like, different lines, yeah. to be honest. Gonna spend some fucking cash. I mean, we might as well. A lot of the things you can craft are things you can just buy. Yeah. So it's like, sure, I can craft it, but... So we do have new crafting things. I think coming to Drellin was a trigger and making new customization in the shop. Why? Why was coming to Drellin... Because I, I checked this before yeah. we came to Drellin today yeah. and was like, oh, there's nothing new to make. We popped into Drellin and now there's new stuff to make. How are you supposed to know that? Yep. That's not good progression. And it doesn't tell you there's yeah. not even like a new customization. You needed a little pop up. Or like so the merchants bad. to have an exclamation point over them, you know? So bad. So bad. Also, it's basically elemental weapons for everyone. So it's not even like it's, you know, super exciting. It's not bad, but. Oh, if I get a ribbon, I can make that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Fair enough. 
there's also this level where it's like shops have different things in them and I'm not really against that. But when you can fast travel, it, What's the point? It does just kind of mean What's that the point? you can do all the shopping you want, you just have to keep track of all of it, and it just adds a few extra steps to it. You can go on the world map and be like, hey, uh, let me check out uh, the shops. Like, it's not necessarily bad that there isn't a cost to do this. Frankly, this game would be miserable if it didn't have fast travel. No ribbons in there. But... It does mean that the whole customization experience is more like I'm going through these menus to see what one town I can buy ribbons in. Not that one. <laughs> Go to Nordstrom's and find a plain ribbon. Must be able to buy it somewhere. You would think. Yeah, Ribbon. okay, Marksburg. Sure. You know? It's not even like there's a system to make it so that you can do this kind of thing. It's it's just doing... It's a nice breeze. Yeah, yeah load all those models. All, all of this extra busy work to... Why don't the shops just upgrade? Like, yeah. Like, they should just all have the same shit. If you're gonna do, like... Customization goes up when you get to new towns. Yeah. And if you're gonna let people fast travel anyway, it really is just like, oh my god, I have the entire map, and I know this is sold somewhere, but have no concept of where it might be. No system where it might be sold. To, to like, find where it might be sold. It's just like, Customization using, ugh. like... Actual items? Like, a ribbon from god knows how long ago. Yeah... Even that, like, yeah, that used ribbons. So you made white ribbons. Why does this not use white ribbons? Yep. Why Why is it not progressive? Yep. Or have ribbons available in more shops. <laughs> not Tell good. you where you can get them. It just, not you know. good. Almost all of the interactions that you get to have with the these systems in this are ah, dragged down rings. in a way. Oh, God. Do you sell mind rings? Oh, God. Probably not, right? Maybe they will, though. No. The mind. It's not even like you can make one from scratch for a lot of the base items. You literally have to go shopping for them. Ah, I did see the emerald ring there, yeah. Yeah. I do want to make one of those. Generally. <coughs> Put it on Mila, because man, she chunks through her MP. <laughs> Even at half MP cost, she fucking demolishes. It's because she basically has spells as instant me like, make melee version attacks, but I think she still pays the full cost. So you can cast a Riva Derchi to do a little slash. But yeah, now it's like... Uh, you want to go looking for mind rings? Uh, they have Charlie a mind sells ring. them. Obviously. Why? Why make me do this? Why make me only? Why me only be able to change party members in a town? Like, you didn't have to do this. Yep. It's. It's so clearly the game design oh, shell plus. for a very different game. At this point, I'm not entirely sure Tornado Plus is, like, worth it, <laughs> but... It's, you know, you never... It's a straight upgrade from Tornado. If you ever put it on someone, you'll be happy it's plus. Like, I mean, I mean, that is kind of what makes this game fascinating. Because I feel like there's a very different, maybe not even Tales game, underneath this. That there is a design doc for this that was for a completely different game. Hey, it's Cape! Yay! Why does this, like... Late game area shop have the basic level cape? Don't worry about it. I should have the base level ribbon. Yeah? 
And not the base level ribbon. That it almost feels like a shop management game with like a dungeon crawler <laughs> stapled to it. Like it, it yeah. there really is a level of this where this is like the racketeer game loop, but they've also stapled an alternate universe, like destruction side plot to it, and all of your favorite Tales game characters are here too. <laughs> We're done. All right. I don't know why it auto puts this on. By the way, this is what. Yay. We can never auto equip people again. I just don't know why that one does. Yeah. Weird. It's shit. not better. No, it's not better. <laughs> Alright, probably stay with the game at the end and then we'll talk to Alvin. Sounds good. Finally, actually do something? Maybe destroy a parallel world? I don't know. I suppose. We've got like. I could go for a parallel we universe did right now. We one character story already. We did Mila's. Yes. So now we're finally getting to the other character stories. Hopefully they won't take very long. And then we'll get to chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Actually roll in the main plot. I don't think any of these are particularly long. I mean, this is Alvin's third one, I believe. It huh? sure is, yeah. Wildly enough. Mm -hmm. Hi, Leia. How you doing? <laughs> they also say the same thing in every in town. In every town, yeah. Uh, they like their dialogue changes as the chapters goes along, which is neat. But it doesn't matter which town you're in; they yep. say the same thing. We saw that with Rowan before. Yeah. The price of betrayal. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it. Doesn't fucking matter. Nothing in this game fucking matters. Uh, and this doesn't matter. Don't fight Don't you two. Fight. Don't fight you two. <laughs> now Never there. I mean, because Surely they tear up every character. Oh, like yeah. Because Alvin is always with Leia. You yes. don't get exactly. Alvin interacting Alvin. with, like, Jude or Mila no. or Elise or Rowan. You'd and think with side it. stories it would let them you do multiple... Multiple different stories with like different this. people and elements, but no, it's actually just one story told in I think three parts. I don't remember if there's a part uh, five four. or six. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, God, no, we're not done with Alvin after this. He's crashing some Skylark product announcement they're holding at the Spurious building. What the hell? Martin, He's saying the. Crash, <laughs> okay. Apparently, is Jurgen crashing the iPhone launch party? Yeah. That doesn't sound like a I mean, good idea. you don't ever say one of the most. It's Spurious. It's Thanks, always Spurious. Spurious is the only company that exists in this, this world, out. as far as I can tell. Be Pretty much. To tag along. So we're going to try this. I've got nothing better to do. And write a story about it? No. Ooh, we're, we're not destroying though. a parallel dimension here. <gasps> I know. Building. I think Alvin's killed like two already. Yes, so. he's actually pretty high on the yeah, count. Yeah. Alright, do we want... Muse is our last member? Seems yeah, fine. fuck it. It's not like we'll even be in this for very long. Yeah, really not. Alright, well... Yep. So I head to the receptionist. Excuse me, is there a man here making a racket? You could have more than one person. You really could. You could have... It's a four-person party. Why do they never take advantage of that? Yeah, they could have Luger... Alvin, Leia, and Jude—you know, maybe mix the third Skylar person up. Yeah. Holding a press conference here. I'm sorry, sir, but it's been canceled. They had some troubles with an attendee. Someone Charles? was rowdy. I don't suppose this attendee was wearing Kataro clan clothes. What's that? Pardon me, sir, but who are you exactly? Uh, push your way in. Fuck yeah. Uh, hey. Sorry. We're in a hurry. Miss Vera will vouch for us. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, oh, we just <laughs> left our phone, I guess. Ooh. Let's keep it up. Hey. Dumplings. Oh, I think that's enough. All Thank right, God so for I guess we could, do our, we could do um drowning. That's true. That is new. See if there's some cats there, like any other cats. Yeah, that's there probably, is. That's that is almost certainly dispatch. a cat yeah. dispatch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, away we go. Good luck. I also think the kitty dispatch is pretty bad. 
It's so like all Tales games have these, or at least modern Tales games have these like timed resource type games. This one is probably one of the least engaging, while also being quite frustrating. So yeah, Berseria has you sending your pirates over. All right, uh, which floor are we going to? Again, north. All right. And this is the time to laugh about that. I know what I want to do. L one. All right. Jurgen, Alvin, what are you doing here? Ah, you're just in time to talk some sense into your friend. I've been trying to explain to him that no one has any designs on his business plan. So the fact that you're using my ideas, my contractors, my shipping methods, that's all Oh yeah, Rice's farm, which we start, we ignored after, like, the first you have five hours. Oh, yeah. If you eliminate about that the farm. impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Oh, he exists in this mm -hmm. world, too? Of course. Coincidence, huh? Sounds more like business as usual for the Skylark Exchange. What are you suggesting? Uh, your oh, crooks? I don't know. Maybe that you strung Jurgen along so you could learn the ins and outs of the Rize Maxian market, and then tried to beat him to the punch with his own big idea. A new this is a character side quest. Along, and you this is Alvin. That you saw it first, and we stole your idea. Are those sorts of weak excuses, business as usual, and Riza Maxia? Why is this happening in Spurious Corp we if this is like It's a different country, yeah, or company. Mr. Alfred Vincent, because this is the only you help us corporation that, that exists in the game. What? You've got to be kidding me. Think about it. If we assist the fledgling markets of Riza Maxia to stretch We can infect that flight, place with rampant capitalism. Bring your goal closer yeah. to fruition. The profits from our venture will trickle down into the economy. <laughs> Everyone Ooh, will trickle down economics. Well. Even if your little theory holds water, the Riza Maxians would never stand for it. Your cutthroat business style won't fly over there. So you're just going to turn your back on Olympias? Watch it wither on the vine? I don't think your company failing Let's is the equivalent. Interested. Is there room in your team for Jurgen? Oh? If you want oh. to join them, leave me out of it. And if that's the way it's got to be for you and for Riza Maxia, so be it. L1. Uh, L1, yes. Oh, I nagged uh, Alvin here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so one, I think I just chose, like, <coughs> random, yeah. random things. When it doesn't really matter, it's fine. Think long and hard about this, Alfred. Who would you rather do business with? I mean, with? him. A partner who freely shows his hand to a competitor? Or experienced businessman? Not you. Powerful connections in Olympias. Mother, you're a motherfucker. Why would he join you? Looks like Jurgen's already You gone. betray people. Damn Why it, would you, you sign up for that? You literally just betrayed Jurgen. <laughs> and you're here being like, work for me. You're I will, very I will reliable. betray you. <laughs> You're at the backstabbing shop. I would never backstab you. <laughs> the leopards would not eat your face. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I guess Spurious just sublets their office, their gigantic I I, office. I guess so. I guess so. About what you said back there, how much of it did you mean? All of it. Sorry to get you mixed up in this. I don't know what kind of dealings you had with them, but this sort of thing happens all the time here, especially after Spurious's sudden growth. Yeah. These kinds of stories aren't even front page news in the paper anymore. Oh, right, Leia's here. Have to play <laughs> black. Yep, just another day in the cut. Yeah, we were, we were talking about this before stream, Enough. and like Leia's swerve from nurse to journalist is, is a bit of a swerve, but I'm sorry for leading you on with this, it isn't keeping with her character not learning to not to be What's dependent on Jude happen? anymore. Yeah, because yeah. the Olympians whole reason she wanted to become a nurse together. is because Jude was going to be a doctor. Yeah. And she kind of just find herself to fuck that wow. garbage can. She became a nerd, you know, like she, she realized that she couldn't define herself by a boy who Whatever. wasn't really that into her in the first yeah. place. So a sudden career change is actually fairly appropriate. I wish this game delved into it more. Yeah, that's the real problem. They do the really basic, him. like... Go after him. She's a journalist yeah, now. Yeah, reporter journalist thing. Doing a reporter journalist story. Whereas it really could explore the fact that she, why she chose no. journalism as a career yeah. after wanting to be a nurse to help out Jude. It, it's not really a story about Leia. No. Her whole side quest. No. Marketing plan section two. 
Tendencies in the Nag. Lilia, outfit two. With them. Luger, this isn't about deceiving anyone. It's just sound business analysis. And who knows the two countries... That's Alvin's uh, one done. All right. Uh, and then we're going to Mark Spark for Elise's. We have two more to go. Woo! I mean, they, they, again, oh, no. these do tend sorry, to be pretty breezy. Sorry, we have three. Aha. Or five after this chapter. But hey, it's going to be a really good one. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward mm -hmm. to Like a recolor? Oh. Yes, I believe that all of these are the Zillia Ooh. 1 recolors. Was that in Zillia 1? I think so, although that green does not look familiar. I don't, I don't actually know if they yeah, maybe had not. recolors. I like it, though. That's nice. That. Yeah, that we could give nice. him some some old school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> his hair is going to be super sticking out of it, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to Marksburg. Yep. I wonder if the costumes were DLC. Might have been. I could believe that. Uh, okay, there were some non-DLC outfits, but there was one for Jude's story, one for Mila's story, and then two for turning in 400 feathers. Uh, okay. I don't think that was it. No, I guess not. All right, well, hello, little lady. Let's continue Elise's story. Oh, were they free? If they were free DLC, I, I would have gotten them. But... Now featuring Rowan. The Great Bunnykins race. Luger? Um... Yeah, they all had a color variation. Mm -hmm. Jude seems to be looking for you. Jude? Why? Apparently, they're handing out samples of Rolo's beloved kitty crisps in front of the station. There's a limited beloved supply, kitty crisps. so he suggests you don't dawdle. <laughs> oh! I'll be right over! They're having a speed quest competition today. Have you heard of it? Ah, an event in which players race to complete a designated job. Well, apparently, it was three dollars per competition costume. People even now that's tails DLC. Or so I have heard. The prizes are boss. I hear today's winner will Rowan's be braid kids. keeps oh my clipping that through his chest sure to bring out stiff in the wind. But from what I gather. Rize Maxians can't compete in this Ah, okay, okay, so the recolors were free. I didn't realize that. I wonder if they weren't free in the UK. Maybe. Will use spirit arts to cheat if they're not super oh, bright. I tell you what it would be, though. Uh, did we have a, an American copy of Zillia 1? We might have. So I wouldn't have been able to get DLC. Mm hmm Uh, anyway. That might be why. If I had a, an American copy, I wouldn't have been able to buy DLC for it. Oh, no worries. Uh, no worries, I'll go with you. I no definitely worries. just started being mean to <laughs> people at a certain point. We didn't even have to ask. Thank boing, you. Boing. But yeah, because I have a UK uh, PSN account, I can't. To the you can't area. use UK yeah, DLC yeah. on a US version of a game. Yeah. Um, nowadays it's easy because um, with your American account, you can download the DLC and I can use it. And that still but, counts. And that, that's fine. But I don't know if you could do that in the PS3 era. Might not be able to. You could only do it in PS4 and PS5, but I don't know if you could do that PS3. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't that primary console thing. Oh, it only works like on PS4 for. and PS5 if you activate uh, the I consoles. I'm just going ahead. Yes, yeah. If you activate the consoles as your primary one, because then you can share DLC with all then users on the console. Yeah. If it's not Just your speed. primary one, you can't. You That's probably why I didn't have the it. Agent, grab your prize ticket and bring it back to me. The first one to bring me that. I only ever saw these recolors in this game. This That's definitely Ben Diskin. A premium limited edition. Oh yes, yeah, so her thing is about bunnykins. <laughs> yes. Miss Elise. Sorry, I was just lost in thought. This is our big chance. We have to win this for L. Don't carry it all on your shoulders. You have our full. You've got a lot on your shoulders and head. <laughs> Games of chance like this seem to be something of a national pastime. Can you go to the top board? Olympians fucking love gambling. I'm feeling the culture shock. Pick up a job or? No. Yeah, go to the job board. I think you pick up the job, and then uh, we go do the job. Disgusting. And we're going to uh, the central regional for sale high road. Yeah, there we go. 
Yay! Now that now even quests are making us do this. Yeah, even character quests are making us. Woo! Woo! Please. All right. Hurry! Hurry! All right. So there's Sail High Road. Who else can warp there? Yes, yeah, so we're heading into the central region. Probably. Uh, I think the dimensional breach is probably be the, the closest. closest. Yeah. Muse, also here. Why not? Well, like, the fact that you can't have, like, alternate Mila in these side quests as well means that she doesn't mesh with the core group at all. Yeah. Ever. Well, because, again, you're just... Everyone's got to get paired off, which means that these functionally new characters don't actually get to interact with the big party, which was literally the biggest highlight yeah. of Zillia, you know? Yeah. We talked a lot there about just how, like, how much we enjoyed the way that the party interacts. It's it's very oh, unique. The skits are like the best part when By Bias far. is interacting with people, you know? Yep. War. Far too close. How dare you? Getting creamed here. Beat me to it. Yeah, Mostly because I got slapped out of it like three times. Yeah. I love getting. I've got to get. Oh, you're definitely getting stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's another one. That should hopefully be all of them, unless there's only one in this and then fight. And you return to the job board and turn then go to the bridge. All right. And I think this should give up to us. Yep. I'm stealing the spin to win from you. I'm you sorry. really are. I'm sorry. Hope you don't mind. Is caring. To be fair, they are also doing it to me. Yeah. He's dead, Jim. Thanks for the laser, Rowan. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Rowan learned the fucking laser. Yeah, he did. All right. That the job done? I didn't get the pop up. But uh, no, we're yep, we are done. the job board. Back to Marchburg. By the way, you can only go to the Olympios entrance from this warp bit. Yeah. You have to go to the Rize Maxia map to go to the other side of Marksburg. Yeah. Or walk. Fuck that. Hoof it, idiot. All right, we got ourselves a prize voucher. Let's go head in for a totally real bunnykins. Prize the that there end, wasn't a quote end there. Of her quest line. We're done. We did it. I'm proud of us. It took we us two it. quests. <laughs> just two, two Welcome chapters. Back. Do I spy a prize ticket? That's absolutely Ben Diskin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Looks like we have our winner. We have a winner. Congratulations on trouncing the competition. Yes. And yes. now, the moment you've been waiting for, let me grab your grand prize. This is a bunnykins? Uh, maybe they gave us the wrong prize. Maybe. We're, we'll spare her feelings. Maybe they gave us the wrong prize. Yes, that has to be it. It's gotta be! I was under the impression the grand prize was a bunnykins. Exactly! A bunnykins! A bunnykins! Not just any bunnykins. I.E. Because you can hear that. This is series deluxe plus plus handmade limited edition bunnykins. Any resemblance to any other bunnykins is purely coincidental. Warranty not valid in Olympias or Risa Maxia. Enjoy your bunnykins responsibly. <laughs> so it is. Look, the logo's slightly different. I mean, I, I think you would fall afoul of uh, a lot of laws here. No, Olympias is just fraud city. You're right. Fraud nation is basically what I've taken from all of the... Yeah. All Olympians are just constantly scamming each other at all times. This is terrible. Hey, hey, answer me. Hey, hey. 
Is that a text from Luna? Yeah. I oh right. We were up to today. I forgot about Luna. her. I replied that we won, but that the Bunnykins was a phony. R1, the Bunnykins might have been fake, but your desire to help Al certainly wasn't. It's the thought that counts. That gets you. The Bunnykins might have been 700 fake, affinity with Al's her. I need a thousand for a no level. Said. So that gets you 0.7 of a level of a heart Woo. with her. Answer me. Yeah, it turns out that, uh... Yeah, what's her name? Evil girl. Agria. Agria is completely correct about Olympians. They're fuckers. They're all awful. They're all horrible people. Like you've made a true friend. They're all wretched. She's probably trying to repay me for that little thing I did. That thing I sent her. Custom GHS ringtone as a symbol of our friendship. Remember custom ringtones? No. Ah, like what you. I had such a good one. Mind acquiring such a ringtone for my device. I mean, I had. Uh, I put. Xenoblade One. It's just for me and Luna. Uh, Limited edition. Me. I'm not giving up. I'm going to find a Bunnykins. They're not elite monsters in that one, really called. But the, uh, the equivalent it's of elite the monster battle thing. Mm, tyrant. No, that's a Xenoblade X. Yeah. Did you get any kitty crap? I remember what they call in one. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, the big nasty monster theme. You get a special theme for it. I don't know our names or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That was my ringtone for a long time. Uh, my ringtone was just me going, it's the phone, over and over. <laughs> and it's like, it, it was in this pitch that I could never recreate, <laughs> recorded from a phone. Anyway, the lease is still in her heart to us, but it's fine. Since you took that, you're obligated. We got like, I don't know, a heart and a half from that class for her. Acquired. Yeah, I was literally correct. We got 1.5 hearts for her from that class. Who should we give? Bunny comes Oh to... boy. Um. Ooh, Mila, fake Mila deserves fake bunnykins. Is that is that a little cruel? It's a little rude, but. It's a little rude, but. <laughs> it's, a, it's a horrible little creature. <laughs> so that's that's uh, that's Elise's. Now we should go Laurent. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're going on the Nile Lava Tubes again? Yay! Fuck's sake. It was so fun the other time that a quest made us do that. Literally just did, though. Mila's one made us do it. I chose poorly. Why? I don't really do custom ringtones anymore. Nah. You it's don't true. really want your phone to ever ring. It's true, and Mila's fractured, uh... The universe. Bunnykins was the real one. <laughs> Alright, well... And let's do layers, which takes us to the fucking Nala Lava Tubes. Why? For some reason. Why? Why? That's miles away. Why? That's half a continent away. Why? We just did it with Mila's. I love that recolor in that one. That, that is a nice green That's color. lovely, yeah. What's going on, Leia? We're going to find that I'm going to be choosing the opposite. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like on. you were prob you had probably maxed everyone's affection yes, by this point. Yes, and so And so I, you just started seeing the bad yeah, ones and just so to I, see them. And so I just, yeah, clicked the other one. Gee, too. Leia, you're such an idiot. What's going on, Leia? I think without... Oh, Grinding, you won't max Adam. everyone on the first playthrough. Yes. The or even close yet. to it. Yes. Um, so yeah, there's a decent amount available, but not. I probably on my not. second so playthrough, like, maxed yet? everyone, and then, yeah, Adrian just chose the opposite of what was ticked. Remember yep. what she said about Olympians? Oh, yeah, hi, Agria. There you go. Uh, Olympios is full of shitheads. Um, so this choice doesn't matter, so I'm gonna go with R1. I mean, let's be real. All of what she said rang true. We have Parts just seen so many fucking true. assholes in Olympios. Yep. When you know people on both sides of the fence like we do, it's hard to take... No, that's, that's pretty easy, I'm actually. I'm taking the magazine side. ...relates to my editor's question. And how I felt interacting with the station attendant. So, yeah, oh, yeah, that station attendant who was a fucking creep. Yeah. Oh, my God, I forgot about the creep of station attendant. It was like, you're a reason, Maxian. Do you magic away the poop when you poop? <laughs> do you pray away your illnesses? Like, oh, my God, he was such a fucking creep. What are we doing here? Oh, I can't make up my mind. Uh. I'm tired of thinking. 
thinking. Me too. I'll just do it. If it'll put this thing to rest, I'll write an article about what that station agent said. Who? Now you're sounding like the Leia we know and love. So what's No next? thoughts. Head empty. Go interview the guy in the station again? No. If I interview him, it'll be at the end. He's my inspiration for the piece. I need to interview a wider it's, range it's of It's just very funny the because the Olympians in one were kind of shitty. Yes. With their whole, like... Mostly not really caring about the people battering That them. really was the thing. Like, it's a, actually a very believable thing where it's like, we've saved our world and it doesn't really matter what the cost is. Uh, I'll help with the research. Mm-hmm. You know, like, it's research. very believable, especially because they're not really in the game Thanks. for very long. Yes. But, but like, in two, you I just, all you meet is shitty Horrible Olympians. bastards. And then I'll put those thoughts together. Horrid, wretched businessmen, CEOs, like... Beasley is a piece of All shit. Right. Now I'm fired up. Uh, don't who hires... Later. Later. Oh, God. I don't remember what the guy's name. The you evil guy who put us in 20 now. million gold of debt. Yeah, uh, Rideau. Rideau! The guy who put us in 20 million gold of debt. I think that Oh, is, we're done! A thing that is so... Yeah, we're done. Uh, a thing that is <laughs> so common... All right. I'm gonna that, an like... That will leave my editor speechless. You're not even speechless, Nova. Huh? Just Nova. One person that, who works at this company's only debt. Yeah, debt trap client. Step one is research. Uh, Step Alan's whole thing is about how the Olympians are shitty, you know, underhanded businessmen. Still, Horrible cutthroat businessmen. Like, her whole story is about how Olympians are fucking perverts. <laughs> who are involved in different aspects of Riza Maxian Olympian relations. Like, but I don't think Exodus are, are an Olympian organization of eco terrorists. Of eco terrorists. <laughs> in fact, I happen to know an elite cool side story. It's so funny about. how shitty the Olympians oh, are and how you idea. don't really I'll give it a try. Thanks for helping me out, Like, guys. because you've killed the evil Riza Maxian king, Man, uh, the one it's from Noctigal. Noctigal. There are- oh, she's blushing now, You've Jesus Christ. Um, you've know, killed the evil so people in Riza Maxia. You did it, congrats! Oh, hold up. That's we've been through an awful lot lately. Have we? <laughs> and then we have killed ten parallel dimensions, I guess. So, yeah, I guess Leia's recolored outfit. And I think she also gets some hair to go with it. Hair? Disgusting. Yeah, she's Zillia. It's basically the same thing as her as her outfit in two with like with the color coordination. You get a yellow one and a pink one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, to match her, yeah. Okay, because that's her. Because yes, her hair band hair. is a different color, so it, it uh, recolors it to match. A little more monotone, whereas, like, you know, this one is... The the hairband is actually to stand out from it. Mm -hmm, mm. Alright, what do we think? Put in her Zillia 2 outfit for a bit. Uh, I'm in her Zillia 1, 2 outfit. <laughs> her Zillia 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 outfit. It's, it's confusing. It really is. I like that. We can have them in their their alternate mm -hmm, color mm -hmm. outfit. It's a little different. It's a little spicy. I never saw them in one. Yeah. So. All right. So there is that one. Swallow kicks. But yeah, it's it's kind of an issue. Swallow flight. Why not? Yeah. What Luger needs is more arts. Yeah. I think. So Luger starts getting like other character arts for him to use. Because he's so cool and smart uh, and good looking. What's the art amplify? It's just ah, spirit, spirit three. Ah, spirit three, of course. <coughs> yep. Um, yeah, okay. Um, go to the job board. So this thing starts a series of jobs. Right. Leia, like, her thing exists outside of yes, her side quest. Yes, she puts a bunch of jobs on here. Layer report part one. So this is actually going to take us a little bit longer. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you have a ministry small on you, head to technology drive. I'm pretty sure we have a mind drone. Yep. Small. All right. Yeah, that was short, but we're not actually done. 
Nearest Corp is Shimano? Both yeah. of those, both of those. I think Near Spirius Corp is the uh, technology drive. Yeah. Yeah, it's the road here. Right ahead. Hmm. And not Gaius to and, the left. Yeah, Gaius is the next. Gaius 1 is the next side story. This is it, my minestrone. A little bribe. We're here, we're at soup. And then I need to go back to the drop board and get the next one, which is Marksburg. And then the third one is the fucking Nala Lava Tubes again. He looks like he's dying and could really use some soup. You betcha. Yeah, I don't think I realize just how much the Olympians are just assholes. Massive. At all points. And, like, they're very racist. We've seen a lot of racism. Yep. In other stories. And it's not even trying to do that both sidesy thing that a lot of these ones do, like... In Rowan's, the Olympians are sending assassins after it to stop him from being able to negotiate <laughs> terms. Yeah. And the Olympians are just... The worst, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, we've got to see Evil Uncle again, who, yeah, was like keeping a creature, a uh, uh, spirit hostage so that he could grow plants. Sapping the life force from it. Alright, then we get Leia Report 2. Uh, so you just, this one is just like Marksburg, north end of Rize Harbor. Alright. And then, uh... And that allow you to just teleport to the Shailen Woods entrance. For the, once you pick up the third one. I hate that it sent us to the lava tubes thrice. This is the third time we've been... <laughs> oh no, it would have been if we followed the guy. This is the second time. Yes, we actually were smart about it. get squished? Yeah, pretty much. They keep going for it. Hi, guys. It drives me nuts how they'll keep sending you in the same area. Yep. Like, in quick succession. Yep. She looks so funny with that notepad and her old outfit. <laughs> oh, and interview, huh? Because her story is not about her finding a new life's purpose after, you know, discarding her old one because her old <laughs> one was revolving around a boy. That's really the thing. The story isn't about Leia. It's about journalism and, you know, understanding. And it's not really even, like, through Leia's eyes. It, it really felt like she was kind of cast adrift plot-wise and they couldn't really think of anything to give her, so they just gave her this. It would be nice if they just let you do all three, yeah. Uh, that would be convenient. <laughs> that would be fun. Nothing about this game is convenient. God, no. Absolutely not. We're taking them all to the cleaners as hard as we can. So yeah, suddenly Leia's now asking, like, hard-hitting questions about, like, tariffs and shit. <laughs> For some reason. You think we'll be able to lower our national debt with this? People need a place to go. Sure. You know, it's like we're suddenly talking about fair trade when Leia just had a thing of like, I don't want to think about anything. Nah, thinking. Thinking rough. Thinking nah. horrible. Nah. 
And then a year she's become a prime journalist. Oh boo. Fucking job boards on the yeah, other side. Sure <laughs> fucking me. Piss. This is faster than running across. <laughs> This is also, like, there's not much reason for these to all be like this. They could have put all three on the board at once. So, yeah, you're going to the... the you're going to the Nala Lava Tubes to find a guy who got lost. And you know where he is? He's in the area. Everything happens in the Nala Lava Tubes. The one the, unique area? The one room where you fought the boss, yes. So you should go from the Shailen Woods, because that's only one screen. Okay, yeah, because normally in the original game you went from yes. the opposite direction. yes. We're not even gonna bring Leia along for this. Fuck it. We don't need her. But after we save him, teleport to Canvalar, because he'll be in the residential ward. Alright. Because you don't interview him here. Oh, you, God, no. You have to go find them. Probably Holy Walton. Yeah, good plan. God, yeah, if we'd follow the guide, we'd explore this area, then come back here in Mila's story, and then come back here again in in this story. It, it annoys me how much, like, they send us back to the same places yeah. over and over again. Well, and how again, that's just the loop of the game. I did Italian Abyss 1, and then there's Italian, uh, Italian Abyss 2, where you have to go back and kill a different enemy, and it's like, why? Why do I have to do these sequentially? Why do I have to go kill some gobos, go hand it in, take this quest, go kill some axe weeks, and I'm sure the next one will be go kill some dragons here, like... Ah, well, time for a small chunk of chocolate parfait. Top right. It is just not, not good. Yeah. Fundamentally, the game loop doesn't really fit the game. The, the, the game as it exists. Well, this man's gonna get gentlemen to death. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can do this! Are you sure about this? Where's the music? Please provide support. Enough! I sort of feel like it's playing, but I'm not sure. I got fucking lasered. <laughs> Sorry to make it so hard on you. What am I turning? I turn the music down a bit. I'm like, did I turn it that far down? Wouldn't have thought so. I didn't think so, but... At least we got a cave parfait. You saved my bacon. Check in the system. No. It's not that quiet. <laughs> I'll put it up. One tick. That fight was just unusually quiet. I think so, yeah. All right, to Canbalar, where we interview him, and then we're finally done with this. Just for some reason. Yeah, he's in the residential district. Then we're going to try to, to do Gaius's. Then we're getting the fresh mutton. It is it is very funny to think just how Xenoblade X-y this game is. <laughs> I, I don't think I saw it at the time, mostly because Xenoblade X didn't exist. Mm, yeah, fair. You know, I don't really think of Xenoblade X as being like this game. Yeah. But also, the stuff that's good about Xenoblade X is much better than this. <laughs> I'm a reporter. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. You know, the story of Xenoblade X was unambitious, but 
better than the story of this game. <laughs> yeah. Fly around with a bit. Xenoblade X is unquestionably much more fun yeah. to actually play. That gives you to something. Beat it twice. That's true. I never You're beat, gonna beat it a third time. I never beat you Xenoblade still haven't X. Beat Xenoblade X. No, I never beat it. I got all the way to the final chapter and yep. I never beat it. Never bothered. <laughs> never did. I put like a hundred hours in. I have said this many times. Xenoblade X is the worst game I've ever put over a hundred hours into. I put over a hundred hours in and I never beat it. You at yep. least did beat it. Still. I never actually went and did the final chapter. I stand by my statement. But, you know, it's like, I don't really like this game Man, loop. even this reason vaccine is, like, more reasonable than the Olympians. He's yeah. like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I know I don't like them, but I'm sure they say the same of us. Whereas every Olympian is like, the reason vaccine suck Fuck and em. I hate them. Garbage. <laughs> hate those guys. Fucking worst. Mm-hmm. And it's like the thing about the, the thing about that I don't really like about Xenoblade X is the way that the plot and the character stories and everything is incredibly siloed into its own little compartments and the world sort of exists for these things to happen like to be played out like tableaus and um the structure of this game <laughs> is a series of heavily siloed side quests that are very formulaic in a world that sort of just exists for these things to be plopped on top of. Yeah, the best bit of X was the world. The world oh, is, by far. I love jumping into places I shouldn't have been. I do that a lot. So, like, this is Xenoblade X without the fun world in it. Yeah, without you know, the fun without world, Without an yeah. interesting world to explore. Yeah. And that really is the problem. And I will say, the story of this is much more interesting, bad, than <laughs> Xenoblade X's. Yeah, like, sure, sure. you know, when, when the story really starts to take off, we are going to be hooting and hollering about it in a way that I never really would about Xenoblade X. No, Xenoblade X is boring. For the most part. But, like, so much of this gameplay loop is exactly the same way that Xenoblade X's is. And that's a real problem. <laughs> Anyway, Leia's three report job three. And then we're going to Triglyph because we still have. Uh, that's at least the last story. Mm hmm. Yeah, there, yeah, guys, this is the last character story. No, we haven't. No, God, no, we haven't hit the bad part. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> there, there is one bit of the game quite a bit later on that I'm going to be. Screaming about. Ah! Oh, I'm yeah. gonna have to take the mic away from you. You will. Let you, you will. yell at it from you 20 will. feet away. I'll have to go in the other room and scream. Um, cause it's so bad. Uh, I will. I, I will spoil something. Um, very minor, and it's chapter 11. It's gonna be really bad. If you're mm. gonna be here for anything, be here for chapter 11, which is probably this is chapter 10 we're going into after this. Mm -hmm. So potentially. I don't know if we'll get to it on uh, on Tuesday. Probably not. Uh, I imagine a bunch of side stories next will pop up. Sunday, chapter eleven is 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 really bad. All right. Well, shall we begin Gaius's story? Yep. Yeah, chapter ten leads into chapter eleven. Name's and, uh, Erster. I have an appointment with the manager. Mind fetching him for me? Sure I do thing. mind. Just a minute. I I, I think doing? once chapter Everything eleven is. goes off, it's really when the game starts turning to complete shit. Well, this is a Ooh. surprise. So yeah, you get Gaius and music. And of course, who else are they gonna be with? Yeah, so you get Gaius the side story has music, music's one has Gaius, which is like, why wouldn't it have Mila? Come on yep. already. We gotta get out of here. Okay, to be fair, this He's game has been bad, but you, you really have to understand. Just a little. It has potential right now. I do have exceptional hearing. You say stupid. I heard that you said Musee's amazing. Uh, <laughs> sure. Those men. Uh, either option's fine. They look like trouble. Look at those businessmen. Oh, they look yeah, like trouble. They look like trouble. They look like trouble. 
And I don't want any. You know, fun. right now, up up until now, most of the the complaints are that it, it makes conflict. you go places awesome. multiple times, which is awful. The, the gameplay, a lot of our complaints, complaints are about how the game plays. Yes, yeah, the story you, complaints are there, but they're mostly but like the know, game isn't you for refusing to really engaging right? with its with fiction. It, with its fiction. Are you serious? Give me a break here. It's up, Tanner. We got the fuzz. It's ordinary it's men. It's the fuzz. It's just normal men. Jesus, it. it's the fuzz. They're now innocent men. You saw. Tell me where. That gang of punks in business suits and ties. You. I don't know. It may be prudent for us to withdraw. I will meet with the proprietor on another more convenient day. Now. Uh, Donk. Hi. Bingo. Bingo. Right. Round them up. Our reputation is on the line. We got a cowboy Why sheriff Why does that here? man have a cowboy hat? How unfortunate. Why are we? What? Why are you following us? Why are we running? I don't know. We're just know. running in the same direction. Deal with it. Crap. Don't let them see your face. Well, guys is wearing a mask, so. What is happening? The port. I don't Who know. There were suspicious men, and was now. Floating. And the guy with the black hair. I, I mean, the floating so part familiar. is like the least. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that's number seven on the I'm list. Sorry, if I saw Muse, the fact that she was floating would be the last thing I would mention about her. She has giant wings. <laughs> That's normal, though. Uh, I have realized our kitty must have come back years oh, ago. Yeah. Oh, we got some casual. <laughs> Finally, my wow, casual. Oh my god! They brought Whoa! my board. <laughs> 39 sea brave, Holy shit! 24 salmon, 45 tuna, 45. <laughs> I didn't even six. notice those numbers at first because <laughs> I was tequila. looking at the tequila. I mean, we did send the cats after fish. The cats just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Drellin is out of fish now. <laughs> they raided. We sent an army to that oh my place. Gosh. Oh my gosh! That's so much. Oh. I Yay. Yay! All right, Catmar Heights. I went the wrong. No, actually. I went. Oh, that's a very normal. All right, that's a normal. That's cat. a reasonable cat there. <laughs> that's just rocked the entire fish market. <laughs> uh, so I guess the field we have the Catmar Heights as well. I don't know if it has any cats. You can check here. Nah. Nope. Oh, that's fine. Off you go. Katamari Heights. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's traitor. where we're being chased. Our cat stole an awful yeah, lot of fish. Yeah, like, the police have some questions to ask us about a <laughs> shipment of fish. Again, there's like, there's fun to be had in this game, but the oh, yeah. overall structure oh, yeah. of it is strange. It just doesn't yeah. quite come together. No, the pacing is really weird. I mean, it makes figuring out progression really weird. What level you should be is weird. Oh god, no concept. They are wearing sunglasses. Maybe they are kind of suspicious. Any sus guys? Kyle, you got away. Kyle. Well, of course. Gotta give some credit to these guys, though. Why'd you bring him here? Come this on, has also been Diskin. Um. So you yeah, know, we're kind of. I guess, guys, the story is just Can us joining say? this gang. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm quite sensitive. This is just going to turn into an Always Sunny episode. Oh, look at her! I would not okay, mention no. her floating first! I would be like, what I mean, are those it's a things weird. on her it's back? Pretty weird. What are um, those things on her back? Why is, is her hair bigger than her? Nice. What is she wearing? Oh, and she's floating. He's also kind of the boss. Great to meet you. That's Tanner. I, I would seriously prefer- Lads? Hi. Hi. Like before, before so mentioning floating, I would mention her wings. No, we're just students. Not that we go to class that much. <laughs> we mostly just hang out. You're delinquents? <gasps> That's not very nice. It, they really a little girl pick up a word like that. It's really anyway. weird how everyone so is just like. Free? It'd be awesome I'm if you could say, teach me yeah. some sweet moves. An obvious. You kicked some serious butt back fucking there. Lady. How did you learn to fight like that? Oh, he's unhappy. Meh. 
Um. Okay. So anyway, uh, these middle-aged businessmen are actually teenagers, <laughs> like. So yeah. Skipping just, school. Just skit and then we're heading to the park. And I guess they're young businessmen. It must be nice to be able to do whatever you want. Whatever I want? Yes. I had no idea human kings enjoyed so much freedom. No, you didn't miss a fight. The that I've left no. Lisa Maxia on some sort of sightseeing holiday. Wait, you didn't? I'm afraid to even. Oh ask yeah, guys knocked out some dudes on oh, yeah. when we were running away. Right. Uh, off screen, he bapped some dudes. We basically just ugh, cut away. Neither's fine. Um. I figure we're in the middle of some sort of secret mission. I figured you were in the midst of some sort of secret mission. <laughs> It's nothing so dramatic as that, but you're on the right track. Oh, but yeah. So there's actually a greater purpose to your idle meandering? <laughs> I'm with music here. I think I you're just fucking around. I wish to see the conditions <laughs> of Olympias firsthand, to understand what I cannot see from my throne. Yeah, that most kings have advisors for that guy. Yeah. Wow, how's that going? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do love music. <laughs> she's great. She's kind of just a chaos <laughs> elemental. It's in festivals. I have interviewed patrons at public baths and taverns until I knew every detail of their lives. I love you guys, and you fucking way, weirdo. I toppled no less than four criminal syndicates that have been exploiting the nation's <laughs> I, Why can't we have that game? That's your why can't we have that game where Gaius wanders around Pardon Olympios kicking the shit out of people? I want I that game. I was whether it made sense to spend time playing with Olympian children when you're so... <laughs> Busy. Children of that age are the ones most deeply influenced by changing times. I would like to see the Olympias of the present through their eyes. And to catch a glimpse of friendship as well? Perhaps. Always a poker face. But I can tell you've learned to have fun. <laughs> so, yeah, those like those two are kind of made for each other because they're fucking yeah. weird. They're both they're fucking both weirdos. They're both weirdos. Probably warp. Do you warp to the apartment? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably faster. We'll pick up our mail while we're yeah. there. I don't know if we have much mail. Oh, it doesn't Never mind. let ah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I guess because you, you can have warp to enter to one of the high roads. But at this point, it's yeah, about well, the same. Just walk in. Yeah. I don't want to remember which high road is the one outside of this door, and you know it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty tiny. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, I want to say a last. I think that's a last, but again, it's not long enough to worry about. Anyway, Reno that, of the Turks, what's I wrong? I don't know why it didn't let us warp in. We, we have to just talk to the dude. Something on your mind? Yeah, I want you people to beat it. You're not welcome yes, here. Yes, Gaius being so? incredible absolutely yeah, highlights how, how much of a boy Luger is. Yes. If you don't He's know, also like, look how much taller he is. <laughs> about your rough like, look at this fucking culture. shrimp man next to Gaius. He's final he boss coded, okay? He is. I love him. We don't trust your kind. Uh, so, hey, speaking of Kyle Olympians... Kyle seemed to trust us. Of the, speaking of Olympians just being racist. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I know. Gaius' story is also about how Olympians suck. All of their side stories about how Olympia yeah, sucks, Kyle's actually. But I'm not. I know exactly who you are. Uh, King of Reason Maxia? <laughs> Dear me, whatever shall we do? The jig is up. You're Reza Maxians. You can't pull nothing over me. I, I'm so literally the king of Did the floating Maxian. lady give it away? I, kind. I want you out of Olympias. You acted out sneaky to meet us out here just to tell us that yourself? I'm a little disappointed, quite frankly. Make no mistake. Oh, so she's not a Reza Maxian? Yeah. Reza Maxian she's a spirit. Here around here. But also. I'm not the only, yeah. Well, one is a fucking gun. <laughs> oh, we, we, we've got some fucking guns here. We got some fucking meat. It's the one clock Every model. side quest, every single Stay side back. story is about <laughs> how Reza Max, like the ev everyone in Olympia sucks. The fucking hot fuzz. You make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ready? Sure, why not? All right. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> Sure not to kill them. No concussions either. Can't promise. That lady's just fucking She's got a fucking gun! <laughs> some of them have sticks, some of them have guns. Motherfuckers, it's time to spin to win. Well, you know, I have guns. Just 
Gun! Gun be gun! Gun me! Gun! Gun gonna, has killed I'm gun. Just, just gonna shoot them all now. Make a little. Oh, what are we got little rat? We got little, we're not gonna little Tommy guns. I'm not sure what we got now. We got little Uzi different. I'm being shot! By a fucking. Random Tony! <laughs> we just get into fucking burly brawl with them! PCs, spears, and guns, and it's not even like it's uh, fun exactly. It just sort of happens, and then they're at the start of it, they're like, don't kill any of them. Uh, we're, like, we're definitely killing all of them. And it's like, yeah, sure, I'll just hit them with my sword softly. I'm shooting them with a gun. I'm killing the shit out of them. Why are there so many of them? Right? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Ah, there's the boss. There. Yeah, I think we're finally here. Uh, I think what we need to do <laughs> is go absolutely fucking ham Damn it. on on these toadies. Non-lethally. They were worthy. <laughs> but whoever is. <laughs> we just spent a minute and a half recreating hot fuzz. <laughs> getting better, bigger and better. Oh Jesus Christ! And nobody's gonna believe us. The cops are gonna come in and just gonna arrest us like immediately. People of Olympians, your monsters! Don't say things like that. I'm a sensitive girl, you know. <laughs> Give it up. Damn it! Bigger hat, bigger hat! <laughs> I didn't realize so many people hated Riza Maxia. Is it because they're afraid? Yeah. Seems we have a long way to go. Yeah, and beating up half of the town's population won't help. Yes. <laughs> beating up an entire apartment block of people. I was like, we have a long, we have a long way to go. It's like, no, we should just not bother <laughs> negotiating with the Olympians. They just suck. They're just the worst! I didn't realize just how bad they make the Olympians in this game. They're all terrible! Ooh. Ah, I do remember Ooh, this, yeah. Yeah, I love him in blue. The cerulean Ooh. suit. Oh, that's stylish. Alright, well, I think yeah, we finally have that we have it. finally yeah. cleared out everything. Time to talk to Nova. God bless. So yeah, it was urgent, and we gotta get there as soon as possible, uh -huh, right uh -huh, away. For sure, for sure, for sure. <coughs> God, what? I, how did I forget about that? How did I forget about that whole? About thing? the villagers packing here, the, the yeah, town school. Yeah, about everyone being like, we hate reason. Glocking it up. Like, that's a place in the game you go in Zillia One and Zillia Two a lot. Mm -hmm. And I just have like everyone who lives in those buildings attack you. It's like. That's fucking weird, man. That is such, such a strange scene. Why is this game is like, man, the <coughs> Olympians are all racist and uh, capitalistic monsters. Why do we want to negotiate with them? Maybe, we, maybe Zillia may, One maybe was Maybe Maxwell was right. <coughs> maybe old man Maxwell was correct, and these people are not worth saving. Well. Yeah, let's do it. Shall we? This game has a very bleak uh, view <coughs> of human nature, shall we yeah. say. I don't I really like how bleak day. it is. I had to freeze the accounts of one of my clients, and he did not appreciate that one bit, let me tell I mean, you. Oh, really? that's your fucking job, you chose it. it really freaked me out. What? Do you want me to sympathize? I'm not going to fucking sympathize. Uh, either's fine. Um, both are a bit snippy, so... Isn't customer service your job? Don't you get paid to ruin people's lives, Nova? Like, I'm sorry if you work for a company that puts people in millions and millions of gold of debt. You are the you, person breaking their legs! Yeah, you don't get... Like, you're the one restricting them from traveling. You're the one, uh, like, bugging them whenever they get a hundred bucks in their bank account. Because you need that a hundred bucks. They don't need it. You need it. 
give me a break. You suck. Well, you enough to deal with stuff like death glares. Then quit. <laughs> your boss told you to sprout wings and fly. Wouldn't you tell him to shove it? Yes. Can't so quit. Wrong. Having a boss sucks. I sure do hate bosses, don't we, people? Is there something amiss? I think maybe I've been here with my daddy before. Perhaps your house is somewhere nearby? I don't know. Anyway, surprise, this has nothing to do with Nova. Yeah, no. Any landmarks? Maybe some super rare flowers? That kind of thing? <laughs> Wait a minute, my house, there's this gigantic pond. The lake. Daddy would catch That's fish from it and cook them up for supper. That's a lake. I like grilled salmon the best. That's my favorite. Sounds like good eating to me. But a pond wouldn't have salmon. Not naturally. Are you sure it's not a lake? A lake, that's what it was. I'm trying to remember. Are there any lakes like that left in Olympias? Lake Ipsilla used to be nearby, but the last of its water dried up dead. I mean, Zillia 1 is absolutely oh, naive, oh, idealistic here, oh. setting a good example. That's There's no that's Zillia 1. About it. Zillia 1 is Maybe all about, like... Trying to find a way that doesn't involve the, the, the death and destruction of a whole group of people. Built by some mysterious civilization that Zillia two doesn't give a fuck. It was the find of the century. That's intriguing. Oh. What else do you know about these ruins? Zilch. I guess they collapsed before the archaeologists could do their thing. How sad. Oh, weird. That's unfortunate. That's that is, unfortunate. Well, I sure hope <laughs> there's a fractured dimension that helps okay, out yeah. here conveniently. We have detected a fracture dimension with a high likelihood of a way marker. Hey, Perfect. weird! Another way marker. We haven't actually hey, killed a uh, fracture dimension today. Nova, why are you there? Why are you there? Like none of our character stories took us into fracture dimensions. For so, once. Fracture dimension? It's division business. Never you mind. The phone is. Does he have it on speaker? Yeah, he just has it on speaker. Luger, you can't have your phone on speaker when you have top secret information. Gotta go. Why do you Let's have it on speaker? Team, she just winked at like the least. camera. I'm on the B team. The B oh yeah, this is how we're we're losing people. The B team were helping Nova with her slightly shitty customer. It's not like he even threatened her. Yeah. He just glared at her. Then, if you work in this kind of business, you've got a girl a spine. Fine. Her customer does sound like a pretty tough. No, he doesn't! He didn't do Any anything! Threatens a young woman <laughs> a taste of his own he didn't threaten her, he just glared at her! Revenge served because she froze his account! Count me in. And they are more than happy to, <laughs> to help... To be debt collectors. To help... Some, yeah, I'm and Mila, no. everyone in the Prime Dimension is stupid. For us? Oh yeah, it's she's gonna come... To Alright, she's gonna come help us destroy another dimension! Distant Thunder! Oh, God. It makes no sense. Hi, cat. Hi. Other cat. Oh, bye, Rollo. Unrelated cat. Do we even notice that our cat just left? I don't think so. I guess this is our team. Oh, it happened. Our cat's returned, though. All right, I guess I'll take Leia. Not bad. We found an old pickaxe. Well, yeah, I'm sorry if you're a debt collector. You're gonna have to grow a thick skin. That's the job. Don't be a fucking debt collector if you don't want people to be mad at you. All right. Uh, I don't know if we have anywhere that's not gotten anything. Yeah, I, I guess don't we could like check so. through, see if any like square if anywhere has a cat. I think we're done though. There's so many cats left to find me on. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god, there's that many nothing. areas left in the game. <laughs> I don't remember. Um. All right. Uh, so I guess it's kind of just. Let's go trick left. Let's do trying it. to finish places. Yeah. Basically. See, Rolo's not here, so we don't get to dispatch him. Yep. Ooh, it's a hundred thousand gross. I guess I'll never find my way home. Don't but it's, worry. It's like Don't when worry. defense contractors get all like pissy that people hate them. Yeah. Sorry. You're an, an, an up for it. You're in an abhorrent job. I, why are you being pissy here? Own it. Why doesn't Nova own the fact that she's a shitty person in a shitty job? I can't find it. I had to run away on a boat. There was a lot going on. Well, it's not Elisa's fault either. I was an orphan. 
I grew up in government facilities. Ah, Before yes. Here you? is when you can choose between Elise or L, and of course you choose L because Elise is easy to get points with. Yep. So, uh, R1. That means she doesn't have a mom or dad. Elise doesn't even have a daddy? No. But don't get sad for her. I have lots of friends now, so I never get lonely. That's good, but if you ever do get lonely, just tell me, okay? I'll let you borrow Lucas. Yes, you know how we just went to the Katamar Heights uh, in real life? Um, it's totally okay. Well, now we're going to a fractured dimension version of them. And we did say it was one of the nicer looking areas in the yeah. game. It's not nice enough to be cool going to it twice. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. Well, this is our crew. Give me Leia. Keep always dad, it's true. All right, All right well. Into the fracture dimension, let's fucking go. So, yeah, I guess Drellin's out this way? Yeah, I guess For whatever so. reason? Let's go. Okay, there's nothing in fracture Drellin, so we're just heading out to Katamar Heights. Let's search for the Divergence Catalyst. You're right, it is. Alright, hug the north wall for a hole. Oh, okay. the same hole we just walked in? Yeah, the hole, the hole we got in I am yet today already. Yeah. I do think this might be one of the more interesting Fracture Dimensions, though, now that I remember what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I knew this was coming. I forgot it was here. I mm -hmm. forgot this was chapter 10. Yeah. Uh, south, walking west, and so southwest quarter. Same hole you went in, southwest yep. quarter. Of course, now it's just harder to see. Yeah. And then central region. I kind of knew that it had to be this one because it, like... You may address me as Agent N. No. I, uh, because, like, there's not really anywhere else in the game for it to be. <laughs> But she does this to every single person who has mm -hmm. a debt with her. Like, why is she, like, scared by death glare? Like, she should be getting just death threats, frankly. Oh, she's just giving us the extra special debt experience because we're her friend. I think if my bank called me up every single day, it'd be like, hey, can you pay some of your loan? And it made a shitty joke at me, I would probably throw them in a bin. A whole bank? The whole bank. Suplex the bank. I would definitely throw the person who called me in a bin. And straight north, spot hole in the wall with beetle legs. Again, same hole. Same hole. It's, it's all gonna be the same. And there's nothing in the south bit. Ah, oh, there's some random loot in the south bit, that's it. Woo! Uh, but in the north path leads straight to a hole, probably the same hole it's again. It's the same hole. Um, there are no more treasures here, so we're just heading to the, the Epsilon Ruins area, which we went into before, but the, there were, like, rocks yeah, on the path Yeah, there was a road down. that was blocked. There was blocked. a path down, but it was blocked. Yep. And that was basically her point. And so, we're luckily, we got a fractured dimension that takes us right here. How convenient. Oh, so we can get into those ruins. It's so fucking convenient. Wow. Is that the hole? But no, I do genuinely enjoy this one, this chapter, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I will provide no more context than that. Nope. <laughs> the only lose stick is all of us. Yeah, so there's nothing in this area. I did kind of forget that there was an entire another screen of this place. Yes, before we get to the ruins, yeah. It's raining a little bit. Kinda this this land it, seems like it needs it. Kind of makes it even harder to see with the, the, ah, you the, know. the, the piss filter. Don't worry about it. Alright, it's definitely safe. Probably in another slot. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I don't even need it. Sound good. Yep. In 
to the ruins. The ruins. Is this good? Wow. Hard to imagine this was all awake once. More blighted nature, courtesy of Spyrex. Yep, pretty That's much. That's why Jude's trying to create Spyrites in the first place, to keep things like this from Why are you again. here instead of Jude? That'll be the day. You act like this doesn't affect you. How do you think Mila felt when she... How should I know, huh? I'm not your Mila. Jude will succeed and save us. Mila sacrificed herself to give us this extra time. There's no way Jude will let us down. Is that what she did? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Something's glowing! They're kind of very antagonistic Mila, towards alternate Mila. If yeah. they haven't collapsed in this dimension, there's a good chance we'll find the divergence catalyst in them. Let's go! Ah! I wish there was a mod that made the hat a little bit bigger every time she talks, right? I can just do that for for you guys. I saw something on the ground right at that moment. There's no reason to be ashamed. No, you don't get it. When I when I hear thunder, I I scream and cause a parallel dimension to happen. Please, just make it stop. Oh, wow. huh? Man, this thunder's pretty intense, huh? Let's focus on getting to the ruins. Mila Maxwell, the other one, sure has some good friends. Uh, do you want to eat meet the other Mila? <laughs> Je you jelly? <laughs> you jelly. Do you want to meet the other Mila? I suppose I do. Who knows where she is, but if I got the chance, I would. She's way cooler than you are, sorry. <laughs> Popped up main chapter there before the scene ended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well. down the path. Let's get into the ruins before I catch a cold. I hope there won't be any more thunder. Thunder. Yeah, maybe we should get off the exposed pla high planes. Oof, medium crackers. Yum yum. I could go for a tofu cracker medium right about now. Ew, it's all Thunder. messy in here. <laughs> Alright, uh, four heads left. Thunder. Oh uh, yeah, this place has like its own battle theme. Ah, yeah, these are actually unique enemies to this parallel dimension. Thunder. This is a job for two. Okay. Thunder. Grab Mila. Sorry, I like grabbed her from you. Tebow can turn into a backpack. Yep. I've gotta get to Now when you thunder, you're scaring Al. That's true. How terrible. Alright. The West. Thunder! I bet all ruins like these are full of ghosts! Yeah, probably. Now thunder! Now decide to bring that up? <laughs> Everyone's just trying to scare Al now. <laughs> All right, so are we just popping in there? We're just going in. It doesn't seem like there's anything in these tunnels. Neat. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah. There's like one that, that one dead end. It doesn't have anything in it. Anyway. Get a load of this place. Nova wasn't kidding. No sign of spirit arts or Spyrex here. But yeah, uh, finally, an actually like interesting New, unique area. area. I think it's still alive. Careful, the security systems. I hope you enjoy the final Star Ocean Three stream. It's good. It's good. My plan really own. came to fruition. Mm -hmm. Just so we're clear, I'm not some fraidy cat, you know. Either answer's fine. You're a brave kid. She's so brave. I know. You're a brave kid. And don't you forget. <clears throat> They're very unique shiny cubes. 
She's pushing herself too hard. If she needs to cry, she should just let herself. She's just a scared little eight-year-old who's been away from There's her father far too long. There's the 12-year-old? Yeah. I was only six when I destroyed the Exodus organization. Thunder. You're a special case. When Elise was eight, crying was all she ever did. Poor Tifo was always Aww. stopping when with tears. <laughs> oh, baby. Where's Rolo? I don't see him. I mean, yeah, I don't see him either. I mean, Rolo left ages ago. With us when we entered the no. I honestly can't remember. We just let our cat wander off in town. The best we can say is I'm not sure. We literally had a scene of Rolo <laughs> fucking off. Right. Yeah, but they didn't get to see that scene. They, they didn't bother look. They don't look after sure. their cat. No. Well, that How do they not notice that fat cat? You need to be a more attentive kitty daddy. It's true. Granny had, you know, had Sue and like you know, being... What the? Oh, hey! That was easy. Huh? Rolo? Why are you being a butthead? It seems we are meeting again, Scion of Kresnik. Uh, Hi! You may refer to me as Odin. Yeah? The system that oversees Thor, the Ark of Time. <laughs> anyway, hard curve. Ark of Time? It's one of the way markers. It sure is. Yeah, we found another one. Four out of eleven, guys. I know far more than that. I know about you as well. All your weaknesses, to be exact. I warn you, leave while you can. Unless you wish I to believe this is Camp Are we Of course it is. This Odin fella sounds like he means business. There's only one way to find out. Let's go say hello. That just now? That's the Mila I know. You're right. Sure. Yeah, no it isn't though. This Mila is codependent as fuck. Surprise! And Sundar for Luger, which ugh. 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 Gross. Luger. Do something. Probably I don't think I've used Leia for ages. I definitely mm. have like error arts. Oh, for... absolutely. It's so hard when the party is this big to actually keep people up on the 3,000 arts they learn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You kind of just end up finding the few arts that you like and sticking with them because it, it really does drag everything down to have to keep eight, nine characters up to date with all the arts that they're learning at a ridiculous clip in this. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You kind of pick your favorite in most Tales games, keep up with them, and then everyone else can kind of be like, oh, I, if I occasionally play them, I update them. When you have two people, it's a little easier because people tend to take specific characters and just kind of keep track of them. Luckily, CPUs can use all of them, unlike in uh, Star Ocean 3, for example, where you yeah. just set the ones they have so you have to be updating, like, your whole party. Yeah, it's, uh, weird, and it's also, like, you know, she kinda- we haven't really had that much time with her, overall. I mean, I've seen people be, like, Fractured Mila is better than normal Mila, and the only thing I can figure from that is they really like their women, codependent and Sundara. Like that's that's all I can think of. They like their women like this. Nice one. Oh, we got an ex machina whiskey. Yeah, we Do we want to go again to try to finish it? I'll go for it. Yeah, Mila Prime is far too self actualized for an attack of audience. Yeah, that's the only thing I because they're like. Mila Prime is personalityless and a robot, and I'm like, excuse you? Well, I tried to open the map. I shall accept your repayment on behalf of the one known as Very well. Your payment. Uh, yep. And yes, we're going to the right here in that door. This is a fractured dimension. If it wasn't you, then some other interloper probably told him. You mean, the fractured dimensions might have their own set of agents? That actually makes sense. Oh, does already it? already encountered another Mila, so why couldn't there be another Luger, too? But that Mila isn't the same Mila as our Mila! Excuse Whoa. me? Whoa! Although, she's just as scary. 
<laughs> if agents from fractured dimensions were destroying each other's worlds, wouldn't the fracture problem take care of itself? Kronos could be making more fractures than the agents can destroy. How? How would I know? Why? Because he feels like it. Uh, R1. <laughs> if so, that would be pretty tragic. If so, that would be pretty tragic. It really would. It would be a continuous cycle of destruction with no purpose. And just who's deciding which destruction has a purpose? Are you that convinced of the supremacy of Why are you even here? Well, I... I don't... Hey, we're bringing up an awful lot of things Stop in this. Your heroes and anyway. Are selfish. You owe that much to the people you're eliminating. You why are you yourself. helping us? You know... Yeah, that like, really is it. There's the problem, all this. The problem with Fractured Mila is she's all fucking talk. Yes, she's completely correct about everything she says. She holds a mirror up to the party, and then she continues to destroy dimensions with you. While grumbling about it. This is, I think, maybe the furthest that this game ever goes into any of this. Like, what wonder if there's a world where we don't have to do this? You don't. You literally don't. You don't have to take Beasley at his word. The only reason you're doing this is you anyway, think Beasley's uh, right. Who doesn't love cube chests? I love cube chests. Damn, it's like I'm playing Star Ocean. It's pretty Star Ocean 3, this bit, to be honest. Well, thank God there's some broken fangs in here. Am I going to the next door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking hollow deck up here. This is still by far the most unique area in the game. Like, she goes, so far. you're destroying dimensions, you're killing a whole bunch of people, she's right. But then she'll, like, cozy up to Luger here, the guy who does it. Yeah, the guy whose literal the job it is. The guy who literally is the only one who can do it. If she killed him, he wouldn't be able to do it anymore. She exists, she absolutely exists to make the party feel bad, which, like... I like the concept of Fractured Mila far more than the, like, outcome. Right. Uh, grab it, head north to the opposite side of the ruins. That's what I figured, yeah. to the other jail room. Yeah. What is this thing? Looks pretty There's a thing that's left, but we need, a, we need something to go in it. We need a pudding cake to go in it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm fine with what we got. Is that some kind of monster? Oh. Uh, yeah, this guy is... The Wandering Skeleton! Resistant to all elements because we love that! It is really fun when that happens. Like, fighting that fucker again. Who doesn't love that? Yeah, the thing about like Zillia One, Mila, and Jude is they like, don't take answers at face value. That was their whole point to Gaius. Like Gaius is the one being like, as a king, I have to protect my people, and the best way to do that is to kill the people who want to turn us into barons, right? And it's Mila and Jude who are fighting for for a different way. Ah, I've been rocked. Yeah, so was I. But I assume at some point I'm going to have to Fernandez this guy. And we don't have to because he doesn't absorb elements. Uh, but you can kill him faster if you want. I'll say I'm letting it get to two. Yeah, and frankly, yeah. Yeah, these resist all enemies are literally here for Luger to Chromatis and kill because otherwise it takes forever. Hey, do you want to make Luger even more uh, important and necessary? You, if you don't play as Luger, certain parts of this game are miserable. Yes. <laughs> you gotten stronger. I don't know. Should we fight it? It was a little late for that, Elise. Well, the monster dropped this. If only we knew what. 
Hi! Bird! Th this game is diametrically opposed to the theming of one. In a way that, like, I've only seen a handful of sequels do. Mm -hmm. Like, and like, not even on purpose as no, like a subversion or anything. No, it's no, just they yeah. wanted to do something totally this different. Is, the story they wanted to tell was these fractured dimensions. And they kind of shoehorn the cast of Zillia 1 into it, yep. even though it makes no sense for them to do it. Alright, well, I guess I'll insert my energy unit. Yeah, you will. Hi, Pat. Ah, fuck this. Hi, Pat. Are we gonna end up the flyed with that bat? I guess not. Yep. It's south and west, ignore the first cell, take the lower stairs to enter our room. But we sure aren't going back. For some reason. Alright, so down. Yep. And then continue onwards. The next room is also empty, but if you enter the tunnel in the southwest corner, then hug the west wall, you know, as you walk south and find a hole. Gazoon tight. Oh good, even the future, the, the retro future has holes. Yeah. So this room. That, that room, I think. Ah. Anyway, we're done with that. Alright, hug the west wall as you go south to find a hole. Good work. There's a specialist flying. Yeah, he That's is. why he gets a mode where only he fights and it's stupidly powerful and is the and only then way. he's invincible. And is the only way to beat certain enemies. Like that guy we fought last time. Do we holy bottle? I honestly don't know if we care to fight anyone here. Yeah, none of them really have uh We don't give you SP. SP, so it is kinda and like our levels are whatever. Yeah, so the what oh, oh there there's is. a hole, yep. I'm sure we'll still fight stuff. It's narrow corridors. It's very tiny here. All right. Oh, we're going back into the room. Uh, yeah, return to the yellow passage, cross the opposite side of the area, enter the first cell. All right. <laughs> wow, cool save point. Oh, yeah, Zillia 1 Mila would, would have been... I don't want to say she should have been violent with a child, but... <laughs> I would have told her that's not acceptable. No, would be <laughs> way more, would be doing more than talk. Yeah. Fractured Mila is all talk. And she's imprinted on Luger in a way that's incredibly annoying to me. That's a fine fur. Continue east, head down the stairs, enter that room. And Elle is like eight, so like, in one sense, it makes sense that she's a little bit of a budding psychopath. But like, she's a she's a budding psychopath. And it, like, no one ever really takes her to task no, for it at any point. No she's treated ever, as the one no who is one doing the right thing. Ever explains to her that like. All right, am I going to the other hole? Uh, check the upstairs room. Okay, so ah. yeah, upstairs room. Wow. We just totally uh, ignored the other And one. then we're entering the no tunnel, yes. For meaningless conflict. Please leave. Go away. Do we, though? We, we don't want to fight. We just want to destroy your universe. We, just, we came here for a fight. Back. And take, like, this entire arc out of it. It doesn't really explain these way markers very well. No. Because, like, this, this whole thing, this whole complex is apparently... Uh, in the tunnel, follow the path, pop down, the west path is down, and the east leads to the north. So we're going east, and then north. Alright. Yes, yes, destroy the game! The gun! The, the game, yeah, the PSG really has trouble with that gun. Mm -hmm. Didn't have trouble rendering 50 guns in the hands I mean, of the, the peasantry. Thing is, they don't have doubts, is the thing about destroying images. They have guilt. 
but they don't have doubts. They never wonder they if this never, is the thing they should be doing. They never doubt this. They never doubt that we are the prime dimension. They never doubt that this is what they should be doing. East. They never, they like, uh, yeah, east and then north. Yeah. They never go, they go, I wish there was another way, but they don't search for it. Yeah. They... In a way that, like, you would believe that the cast of Zillia 1 would not accept that this is the only thing you could do. Yeah. At least not without some powerful convincing. Oh god, Bat, Bat, please, I don't want to fight you, Bat! It would need more than... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ...than Beasley telling you this is how it has to be in order for the Zillia 1 cast to do it, you know? Yeah. But that would take more game than they have, I guess. Basically, that, that's never, the ultimate problem. They never show the consequence of, like, the Fracture Convention's existing. It's just like, things are going bad. Be Beasley tells you that's why the Spyrite research hasn't hasn't worked. And, like, Gaius at least has the, on the understanding that this is correct, Gaius has the, if this is the thing we need to do, I need to make sure Luger is up to the task. In the same way that he made sure that Jude was up to the task, we are going in there. Mm-hmm. Or still his empty head east and up the stairs. Uh, but it is still like, feet hurt. you know, why are we doing it? You know, it really is like Gaius doesn't fit any more than the rest of the, no. of the cast fits ultimately. Gaius in the first game was at least willing to sacrifice other people for what he thought was the greater good. Yes. So in that way, Ooh. it is at least more consistent with his character in one. If he truly believes this is the greater good, the spicy chicken roll, is it? I think so. The left, under fruit salad. I think you did the start though, yeah. It wasn't. You, you just oh, started it. I fucked it, it up. Okay, yeah. my bad. Uh, Continue east the cell and send an empty head south into the cell on the opposite side. Defeat another one of those fuckers. Yay. Yeah, they never question the CEO of, of, a, of a megacorp who is so clearly evil. Like, I can't... Beasley is so obviously evil. It the man me. is incredibly evil-coded. Everyone just talks about how suspicious he is every time you have a conversation. <laughs> But they trust him implicitly. Yes, he's but still yes, the one who gives you the driving plot. Zillia One, the Zillia One crew are the ones who were like, we shouldn't sacrifice people. Yeah. It is in fact the final conflict of Zillia One. Yeah. The last two conflicts, for that matter, of Zillia One. About how Maxwell taking the Reza Maxians uh, and leaving these guys to die was wrong. And that guy is doing the same is still wrong. It's still wrong, but you know, it is him kind of reaping what he sows here. And Gaius only like gives up on it because Jude's there and he like, you know, holds Jude's feet to the fire and is like, if you don't prove this, I will continue my plan. Yep. So like, it, it, I don't think Gaius would believe Beasley. I, I think he's far too smart for that. Yeah. But I do understand, like, Gaius is at least consistent if he thinks... If he thinks this is the right thing to do, he, he will, will do, do it. Even if it involves killing people, he will do it. That's his role as king. That's what he has to do for the good the good of his people. I um, see, once again, there's an I exit. Check outside, take the tunnel in the southeast corner, the north dead end. All right. Well, there's oil under those dimensions, yeah. But, like, the rest of the cast, the whole point... Has no excuse. Oh, ooh. Ah, we got a joke ooh, weapon for that. nice. Okay, well, let's go into the hall. Let's just keep going. I guess we'll see if it's any good. No? No, but they do look like this. They increase item drop, right? Probably just start because they they're not they're not sorted very effectively to be honest. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck! These bats just love chests so much. It really is like doing this is not within the 
stated moral boundary of the original Zillia cast. Yeah. Except goddess. Yeah. And usually because she She doesn't give a fuck. She usually doesn't give any kind of a fuck. Leave it to me. Alternate Mila helping you destroy dimensions is makes okay. no sense. Is the worst thing, like, that we've seen so far, you know? We have your wallets around. No, you don't. Uh, south of the fort, head east to enter a hole. All right. Wow, this is a big cave. Yeah, this dungeon is. It's fairly large because it's like one of the only oh, unique assets in the whole game. <laughs> Rolo here. I know why. Oh god, the game <laughs> explains it, doesn't it? It does explain why uh, it's... You're gonna love it. Right. There, I think that's the cave. Uh, yes, okay, yes. We're, right, yeah, this we, goes we, back to back the first to the set of passage, chests. Yes. Oh god. Yeah, honestly, if it set up alternate universe Mila as sort of an antagonist, it mm -hmm. would be way better. Yeah. But then they couldn't give you Mila as a party member, you know? Yeah. That's that's unconscionable. You can't take away one of the party members in this. Even if she's literally missing for the entirety of the game, so we, we need a replacement. Uh, head west, check this out, top of the stairs. Mm-hmm. And then we're backtracking to the tunnel with a fork and heading west. Instead. Yep. That makes sense. Whoa, a new weapon? Yeah, we got a bunch of new weapons in here. We'll see if they're any good. Yeah, for everyone who is uh, with us, I'm guessing. Ah, the handed man shaft. All right. Wonder if it's trying to tell us something. I really want to like Alden. I mean, I remembered liking her, mm -hmm. but again, I like her more in concept. Yeah, than that's picture. sort of the problem. Like, I mean, she's the only one who ever takes people to task or said yes. anything about, well, what if they think they're the prime dimension? Like, yes. I was waiting when we played this game the entire time for it to bring that up as a thing. And it finally has. Yay. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad we did that. But all she does is talk at you. Yep. Because frankly, the game is not that interested in no, that. No, no. Is there a cave we're looking for, or just the next? I believe we're just going along. All right. Um, uh, the south, the south does have items, and then we're heading to the north. A melange, Joe. This dungeon's a lot longer if you fight things. Yeah, God, yes. <laughs> this dungeon's quite long. This dungeon's actually kind of meant to level you up a little bit. Yeah, we're not Chunk you up, but meh. All right, so yes, now we are over and on now this side. We're here. Enter the, the nearby room, defeat the next wandering skeleton. Yay! This is a terrible mechanic. What a great gimmick for this dungeon. I, I like, hate this. I forgot okay. about this entirely. Looper. Smack. <laughs> Just seeing that damage that has 22,000, and the only way to really kill them effectively is to fucking chromatic. Just... Oh, man. I see if level one's enough. I'm at least do big damage, yeah. so... It's adorable that you have an animation that, like, stun cancels you and hits me. Too bad I'm invincible. It is like, if you don't play as Luger in this game, you are hampering yourself so hard. Oh, yeah. 
Because, yeah, when he's CPU controlled, I don't think he does that. No, no, that I would don't be, think so. you know, kind of silly. Yeah. They do just expect you to be playing Luger for the whole game. Up the stairs to a room. But, yeah, this game 100% 100 expects you to play Luger and none of the other characters. They're there for you to link with them because they're yeah. your friends. Your best friends. My soda rice, no! Then we're backtracking all the way to the red path. Woo! Um, to get to that, because we have the energy units for the device now. Yeah, back right. We That was what we were actually doing this for. Back through the tunnels, we know. Oh, go away, Nova. I have to put a holy bottle on. Yeah, go nuts. Blame me for your fate if you must. I will. I will. We do! Yeah, this is like the most involved that the actual story of the game has mm. been. Mm -hmm. Basically mm -hmm. since we got altered Mila. Yeah. We kinda had to spend a ton Gaius, of time getting Gaius, Gaius and Yuse. Gaius and Yuse chapters were just I mean, they might as well have been side chapters. Yes. They were just recruitment chapters. They but the game also gives you like sixty percent of the entire map at the time. So it's like there's kinda no way to win. And now we have all the characters. I believe the story chapters start actually going Mattering. for the plot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the plot's kind of been on hold since we got alternate Mila. Despite the fact that we have been playing for quite a bit. Yeah. We had like two side stories with her and this plot is like, this chapter is like the first one where she's actually kind of been here. Relevant to the plot. Yeah. And then we teleport. It really is just the pacing of this game is strange. All right. Teleport to the second east. As you do. Cross the opposite side and place the other energy unit. Wow, you could have pranked this yourself is, uh, here, uh, huh? The teleport here is like now the last opportunity um, to collect the stuff in this dungeon, but we have still. So. Okay, so there's like no other... Oh, yeah, because we're actually back here. Yeah, huh? we're back here. And right, and this point, is the savey yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. God. It's... It's so samey. I guess, do you want to finish here, or do you want to fight the boss? Um... I guess we can finish. I... Oh! Duh. Ooh, interesting. We should fight the boss. Let's do it's it. It's by far the most interesting yes, thing we're going this, to see for a true, long time. True, This is one of the most interesting bits of the game. This is, I think this is what disappoints me about this game. Yes. So finally There's gonna, these little bit of this glows. This is actually about of to be like, interesting. You know, finding of, out that fractured dimensions are destroying other fractured dimensions. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's cool. That also could lead to, you know, us you not being the prime form, dimension. Right. And it's also like... That's not something you want this to is utter to insanity, but in a way that I was kind of hoping when I yeah. saw the pitch of this game in the yeah. first place. Yeah, like strange new, there's finally a parallel dimension that takes you to like a strange new area. Where they know what's going on and it's basically like alien the to you. The part of that chapter was yeah. also really good. Yes. Because it's like this alternate history to the whole game. Shall we? Let's do it. This will go a little bit long, but oh baby! Like this is good. This gave us such hope. <laughs> Whoa! Cause yeah, now we're in the fucking sci-fi future room here. Yeah, we are. A dead end. As I feared, you refused to heed my warnings. That's definitely Clam uh, Clark. That's Clam Clark. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Odin. It is all the remains of a civilization that collapsed 95,212 years ago, by your reckoning. The sole survivors converted their corporal forms into life form data. Corporal? Corporal forms. Away. It was their hope that someone in the far future would find and resurrect them. Yeah? And this is where they've sealed themselves. It truly is an arc of time in every Also, sense. Odin. 
The it's just like Final Fantasy Odin. <laughs> yeah, basically. He's <laughs> even got the dual blade. It's just here in Tales Gate. The collected works of their civilization are stored here. Yeah, are they? Half a million? Yeah, so are we about to... Lives that have been long lost in other dimensions. This is their last... Also, time. this is the last we version of this arc thing. Because he knows about that. In the future. <laughs> Here's their faces! All right. Greetings, friends from the distant future. Hi, Leia. I'm looking forward to the day we can meet for real, and the day we can start living together in harmony. Yeah? That's, that's Leia. The, messages. What? the arrogance of humanity has led us to our own destruction. It is this truth this that is I want to pass on to you, people of the future, so that you can avoid repeating our mistakes. These hold our poetry, our music, our art. <laughs> everything we've managed to preserve of our culture. They're the proof that we lived and loved and suffered. Is that the same model Please as that racist guy who attacked us? Yes. <laughs> These have all been like Olympians and I, NPC I models. Know, but but that yeah, guy that one specifically. specifically the guy who attacked Gaius. To you who have discovered this data, please. Here are, please. Hello, old lady voice. I beg of you. You must find a way to give our children back their future. Wow, I wonder if this guilt trip will stop us <laughs> from destroying this entire universe. The data sounds real scary, but mommy and daddy will be with That's me. That's just too. mythos. So I'll be brave. Sure is. He said if I can be strong now, then I'll get to play outside again one day. That is but a small sampling of the data stored within this ark. Yeah? My purpose and only wish is for the hopes and dreams of this civilization to endure. Scion of Kresnik, I beseech you most humbly, do not extinguish- Oh, look at the fucking home. choices we get here. It's my job, <laughs> or it's not like I want to. It's not like I chose this, except like I, I literally it. did. It is my lit- <laughs> Which horrible answer are we about? <laughs> this is, I think, where we were just like, oh, <laughs> fuck. The game does something, because like, it's literally about to do something it's to you. It's finally here being like, here are literally half a million people that Face you, to that, that, like, the consequences of your decisions. That you are going to destroy. This is literally the last vestige. They don't exist of their in other universes. They don't exist Explicitly. in your universe. Are you going but, to destroy them? But hey, and, and I am being answer, paid a salary Lucas for this. Lucas' answer is, yeah, I'm getting paid to. Like, um, I'm just a soldier doing my job. Uh, as if that's a defense for, uh, I'm actually going, this might be a war crime. Uh, this is this is a level beyond war this crime. Is genocide. <laughs> this is genocide. This isn't even like hypothetical alternate universe genocide. This is like if Edge deliberately gave Nazis uh, the antimatter and went, go nuts. Destroy because the it's world. his go job. Nuts, bro. Because it's my job to give you the Nazis antimatter. <laughs> but it's not like I want to. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm going to answer here. <laughs> Neither's good. No, they're both horrible. And one makes him <laughs> nasty. R1 makes him a weenie. Makes him petulant. Makes him a fucking weenie. Uh, Absolute weenie. I don't want to, but Beasley told me I have to. Luger has to be a silent protagonist because how could a real character ever bear this decision? <laughs> <laughs> Frankly. Yes, if Jude had to make this, Jude would never make this decision. <sighs> I feel like it's not like, yeah. It's not like I want to. Is the loser is a petulant, whiny it's little the only turd. Way back to your prime Lena, well, why are you saying that? I will render you into a digital format and place you under my. <laughs> I'm going to download your ass. It means he'll lock us up in here for the rest of time, probably. Thanks, but no thanks. Well, you heard the lady. I wish to avoid damaging you, but it seems as though it cannot be helped. You're pretty confident. How do you think I was made cognizant of the fact that I am a way yeah, we can be Digimon. So anyway, I'll other interesting thing. Me, or rather, a version of you from another world. 
Alternate Luger has already been here to kill him, and he won. What a cool idea! Anyway, anyway, time for a regular boss fight. Wait, didn't we already know this? Didn't we were scared about this? We said maybe, but also. Mm. Oh, well, thinking they're from the Prime Dimension. I wonder if that's us. They were defeated and digitized, like this. <laughs> Don't digitize me, bro. If you wouldn't download a child. Why can we bring the eight-year-old with us when this happens all the time? She like this is the second, third time that she has been like what? captured. You adhere to the same pattern as before. You attack recklessly, goaded forth by your blind rage. Yeah, but this time on, and we're gonna win. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> this time we're built different, I guess. He's weak to light. Actually, strong other elements, so that, I, mean, I definitely have elemental moves Yes, on. I think actually we don't uh, have the weapons, so we don't have to change those, because yeah. it gave us a bunch of non-elemental weapons. Uh, I mostly have hammer, okay. Uh, well, I could always just do spiral strike. I do love spiral strike, he's quite tall, so it probably works quite well. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Missed. <laughs> he just fucking left. <laughs> we stole her for so long she can't unburn us. <laughs> If you lose, you get game over. This is just a normal. totally regular game over. Yeah, I don't believe you get uh, like a proper game over here. No. No. I'm gonna do a quick check to see if I've got any falling thunder. Ah, uh, for like lower. light moves to start a power combo. You yeah. have falling thunder, yeah. You have it on already, I think. Mean. That'll start a weakness combo and make us even better. I just bat him in the air, bat bat. Well, we'll see if the game brings up uh, other Lugers kill, you know, uh, going around thinking they're from the Prime Dimension. Luger has the, killed Luger. The game Luger. just brought this up, so we'll see. Yes. Again, the, the hint of, of, you know, uh, something uh, complex, some, some shit, something mm -hmm. better, other than the cliche stuff they've done. We've got hints. Yes, again, the game is by far the most interesting right here, right now. Yes. But still. But still. Ultimate Fertile Soil. <laughs> Neat. Ah, the classic Silent Tales level mm -hmm. of screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, we killed Odin and, um, yeah. Why? Why have the results deviated this time? Don't digitize me, bro. The data's different. The data. The deviation. Is it because of that girl? Boop. That girl is the true Gresnik. <gasps> Forgive me, good people of Thor. Here they all are. There they are. 
And they're all, and they're all disappeared dead, forever. Dead as shit. Dead as shit. Wait, she's not even touching the cat. Why? Don't worry about it. Now there. What you doing? Uh, R1. Both get you points. R1 gets you a little bit more. All right. When I was little and scared of thunder, Julius would cover my ears. It sure is. Huh. Is that right? Sounds like glasses, guys. Pretty nice. We're at 11. And that is the most interesting one we've killed so far. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's getting <coughs> blushy. Mm -hmm. Luger and Al act just like their family, don't they? Oh God. Tipo's jealous. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tipo's I know. jealous. Uh, L one is for L. R one is for Lisa. So we'll be going L one. I guess this is what it's like <coughs> to be a big brother. What's it like? Ask Julius. He's got way more big brother experience. When I see my daddy again, I'll ask Yeah, they made them they, they, they did try to guilt you. They had the voice like had it is friend. trying to guilt you about it. Wait, what in the world? Hi. Uh, wait, where did the other Rolo come from? Wait, wait, did the other Rolo just come here on his own? Cuz he he fucked off in town. Yeah, he came back. I, Our Rolo But wait, he heard us. Yeah, he ran through the monster infested he, field and he's, he's back vanishing. now. That must mean the doubles. The fractured version of him. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. that pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Yep. Fractured version of Lou. Gone. You guys, what just happened? So yeah, that, was... that was right. indeed Fractured Rolo. Two of the same thing can't exist at the same time in the prime dimension. <gasps> if that's true, it'll be the same for Mila Maxwell and I. Thank you for spelling it out. Thanks, Mila. There we go. All right. All right. So yeah, you find the ruins of a super futuristic civilization and... They're, they, Rolo was just wandering around because another Luger brought his cat there I guess to so, try and yeah. kill Odin and And Odin them. wouldn't download a cat. <laughs> You'd never download a cat. They sure did. He was sobbing like a baby as he paid in full. Oh, That's Christ. horrible. That's horrible. As a reward, I got you clearance to travel to Fenmont Sea Haven. Yay! I'm here, I know. Best I could do. It's because that's the rest of the map. Yeah, we get Fenmont, uh, which is the town we start at Zillia 1 in. Mm -hmm. From there, we get the research center, uh, the castle, the high road, the swamp. The bit of Fezzamel March you can actually go in. Mm hmm And, of course, a bunch of side stories. One, two. Oh, only two. Oh. Well, shall we look at Vera's Broken Heart and then finish up? Yeah, let's do it. So we might actually get to Chapter 11. On... Although we do have a lot of places to go to. I can't believe this. Vera won't talk to me anymore. Because, apparently, I made some tiny little offhand comment about her personal life. Oh, right. That guy's never asked her for a second date. It is a pretty mean comment to spread. Well, maybe it is. But it's still true. It's when so horrible. With the guy, Vera stiffens up and goes totally silent. Honestly, Possum study her dating life to learn how to play dead more effectively. What? No way! She's always so in command when we talk to her. That's just a character she plays so she can get through her day at work. Every morning, she oh, no, she should be telling us this. All of my co workers are pumpkins over and over again. It's like some visualization exercise or something. Vera thinks you're a pumpkin, Luger. Interesting. Anyway, whenever she gets drunk, I have to sit there as she complains about being dumped all night long. All night long, Luger. So I made one little snarky comment. I really hate her. Horrible. She's horrible. She's wretched. She is so horrible. Uh, Alan. <laughs> yeah, Vera sure is cute. Jesus thankfully, Christ. thankfully, it's the wrong answer. Is it okay to be telling us about that? Oh no! Please, you can't. This is just between us, okay? You know that.
That's kind of incredible. Some visualization technique transformed Vera from a shy girl to this? We should try it too. Luger is a pumpkin. Luger he might as well a be a pumpkin. More or less. Make a pie out of him. Him. Yeah, you what? should. I'm not Fucking... supposed to do this, but I'll let you in on one of the rules of a pro pinkist. The only milk we can drink is strawberry milk. All right. <laughs> That's what I also say as I come out of a shattered dimension. Man, there's like no scene of remorse. Oh there's like my no God. scene just, afterwards nope, we're done. where they're like, man, we just destroyed not only the remnants of ancient civilization, but the entire world around that. Oh yeah. Anyone else who still existed in that, gone. You know, there there is this bit where it's like it's trying to get you to face Odin, to the idea. Odin's not very good at guilt tripping people. No, I mean he's but a computer. Luker's whiny. It's my job, or it's a job. I don't wanna, but I will. But I don't wanna. It's like a kid being made to eat his vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking strange. This game is so whiplashy, and the good news is it's just gonna keep whipping. It's downhill from here. <laughs> uh, like, that was, that is, I remember this yeah. alternate dimension because it oh, is God, absolutely yeah. the most interesting one in the game. I, I, I know what... It's the first time the game actually goes just completely balls to the wall and says, like, this is something that can't possibly exist in this world in a way. And it just, like, you know, there's, there's this whole other thing of it and we've dropped it and actually there was something much more important that happened there that did that completely overshadows it. Yay. Yeah, I wonder that comment in the end from Odin about L. I want... Mm. That comment about L. that comment uh, from Mila. I mean, replaying it again, I <laughs> realize just how utterly obvious the game is about... What it's doing? About L. About uh, it's everything. It's extremely obvious about L, and, and, and you know, in a way that like, you, know, you realize when you're playing it the first time, but replaying it, you're like, oh my god. It's not even being subtle. They don't understand foreshadowing. They just think it's plunking things, plunking things at you. And yes, Amigo Lupus, it absolutely did diffuse the entire bomb that it just set up of like, are we really the prime dimension? Because the answer is unequivocally yes. Yeah. The, the game literally confirmed it right there. Yes, because, uh, yeah, Fractured Rolo disappeared. Yes. Hey, I wonder what that means for alternate Mila. Hey. All right, I well, wonder if we'll find out. See y'all on Tuesday. See you on Tuesday. Oh, this game. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Please join us for Chapter 11. It's either Tuesday or Sunday. Yeah, we shall see. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.